for all the hip hop fans, all the people out there that bought a cassette tape back in the day. We all deserve to know what was really going on. Cause if Diddy was moving like that and Cameron and Mace was involved and that's how they got their record deals. You got dudes out here making up tapes. They got some Cameron rap videos mixed with some Mace rap videos, some Brian Pumper porno clips, some twerk videos, some Diddy videos, and they talking about they got their own sex tape. People want to see it go down. All this zestiness in the street, people can't even wait for the evidence to be released. They making up their own Meek Mill Diddy sex tapes. A Meek Mill rap video, some Cherokee D ass video clips, and some Diddy videos, man. That's what's going on out here in these streets. But y'all need to see this, man. Diddy was all smiles out in public for the first time since his new lawsuits. They was out there looking like some wolves. Him and his pit bull puppies. They said they was like some dogs. Got spotted out there wearing all black with dark shades on. Out in the street looking for another freak off. We gonna talk about it, man, because it's a whole bunch of allegations about my man's cam and my man's mace, man. And I don't like it. This dude, Lil Rod, got everybody tripping. Is it really that much zest in the music industry? Cause Mace always had that pretty boy swag. And Cam always had that pretty boy swag. Oh my goodness. Two earrings, lip gloss popping. We need an explanation. Cause if y'all was tied in with Diddy, then something ain't right, man. Y'all need to listen at this right fast. Cause it's a whole bunch of stuff we about to get into. But Cam said some things about Mace and I can't believe that they back cool. Y'all need to listen, yo. Puff out of Brownstone, I believe on 35th Street and like Park Avenue between, um, Park, it's some Brownstones down there. I believe 30, 35th or 36th and Mace was staying there. And um, I went to go and I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo. Oh um, on the bathroom sink. And Jeez. when I came out, I asked him what's about. He like, that's homeboy's joint. You know, I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here, but I don't know. I said, well, this is your sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where his bathroom at. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's word to my son, because stop breathing. I but swear to God. But you know what? Guys use dildos on girls sometimes. That's true. We seen some. What he said, I'm not seeing any day. Right. You just just Suspect Village. Oh my goodness. We got to talk about it. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. The phone lines is open. Y'all got to call in and answer the question. And I know the questions sound ridiculous and I ain't trying to be no. Look. I'm trying to keep it as real as I could keep it, man. And I ain't trying to be no asshole about the situation, yo. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Happy and Nancy. I called before. Oh, I was, you know, I just turned to you. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. No doubt, bro. What's on your mind, man? You know what this hit me? I'm watching this, and it reminds me of like a Tyler Perry movie. Like all the dark-skinned people, like the record executives like Diddy and... And you got uh, Mason, all them. They bring all the young, uh, not knowing what's going on, like Cassie people into it, and it's taking their spirits. <laughs> it's like, like did Tyler Perry make this up or something? It's crazy when I'm watching it more and more. Like, why everybody be dark skin? It's doing all the dirt. Yo, I know man, it should be racist, but Lord, <laughs> it's a crazy situation because Lil Rod said that he was working with Diddy on one album and he got subjected to butt gross smack dildo all that he said Diddy was all over his butt and he couldn't even focus on his work so if Mace was with this man and sold all them records did all them albums and ran away to the church do you think Mace and Diddy had something going on back in the day 
I'm going to say something controversial. Yes, I'm going to say something controversial. Going back to the dark-skinned black man in the music industry. I remember seeing the Biggie Small movie they made for him, right? He was yelling at Lil' Kim about sing better or rap better or whatever. Oh it's like, it's crazy thinking about that. But the thing with uh, Little Ron is this right here. How much are you willing to subject yourself to where you say, you know what? Like uh, Cat Williams said, I like my virgin, uh, that virgin part of my body. I'm going to keep it that way. Is you getting fame from working for an uh, album for him worth going through that? Now you're looking back at your soul saying, man, I shouldn't did that. I should get paid for that. There's ways of looking at it. I don't forgot what I asked you because you ain't answered you the actually, question. You, you, actually, you, you know you what I'm saying? You Mace, Mace was getting down with Diddy and I said yes. Oh, okay. So you feel like Mace was getting down with Diddy. So seeing that Mace and Cam is like besties or whatever. They had a falling out and they wound up getting back tight. And if it's Zesty involved, then what the hell is going on, man? I think Mason Kim saw a financial advance being together and talking about different things pertaining to sports and otherwise. So they have a, a, a chemistry like that. Because I think if it was the Cameron, he would have said, man, I'm still mad about Horse and Wagon, what that dead song was. They, they got back together, maybe they squashed stuff. But the kind of hatred I heard when I was younger, I would, them going through that why you didn't do something with the album or whatever or help me tour with or whatever uh, that was some deep hurt right there coming from Cameron yo so maybe they made up people can make up you know Cameron being cool with Mace again it's like Dame being cool with Lee Daniels man. Oh like Mace Dame being cool with somebody that slapped, cool that slapped your mama <laughs> Dame and Lee Daniels with, shit they look like brothers they might be related never know hey man they was tight that was his boy you don't know what on what's going on in the hood <laughs> hey it is you know what, what it is, is man if if they cool it is what it is. if they don't care how somebody living then they don't care how somebody living maybe they care they just want you down yeah. maybe in your position you act but they want you at so they comfortable with it none of this would even matter Nobody would even want to talk about this if Diddy wasn't in the news for all this foul stuff, man. It just make everybody weird. Nobody want to think about Cam in a weird way. Don't nobody really want to think about Mace in a weird way neither. But no. if you was dealing with the weirdo of weirdos, because that's what they making Diddy out to be, then what was y'all subjected to being in this man's company? That's a, that's a good question. What are you willing to do to stay on top? Well, apparently Lil' Kim's willing to cut her face up and look ridiculous now. Try to look younger and it didn't work out. I guess it's, it's levels, I guess. Mace was basically like, you know, his, you know, his number two. Like, when you see me, you see Mace on some kid and play shit. Like, but here's the thing, though. Didn't Mace start a church up? Is he still in that church? Man, he might be in the church, man. And praise the Lord if he is, because we all need the Lord. And we want to thank you so much for your phone call, bro. Don't be thank no stranger. You, Make sure you call back next time. Real talk, man. Thank him so much for his call. That brother called and showed me some love. And I ain't got nothing but love for him. And I ain't got nothing but love for y'all, man. Best believe that. Let me, let, matter of fact, let me show y'all some love. The Truman Show. Jim Carrey in the building, y'all. Yeah. Nevin Reed, QS Baby, Mob Mommy. Y'all so sexy. Gina Dia, Amarachi. Oh, this, this shit getting exotical. Comment section getting exotical. Them dimes coming out, look. Beauty Unparel. Got them dimes in the building. They came for all that zesty news. Y'all y'all better be some females. It might not be one female. All these some dudes, man. They came for the zesty news. Victor. <laughs> in the building, man. But that's Negro here no there. Let's get back into this news. Lil Rod got the internet going crazy. 
zesty, <laughs> zesty dudes left and right. This boy don't set the internet. He dropped that zest and it just simmered. Like, ooh, he looking at 30 mil. Like, is that, is this what you want? He came out the gate with that zest. The internet coughing and choking on, <laughs> the shit too spicy. And if it's really zesty, like how he making it seem, Cameron, Mace, what is the deal, man? You got zesty boys making zesty mixtapes. They mixing up real porn with rap videos. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> They talking about they got them hip hop sex tapes. Put plies all in it. Next to um a regular porno, man. The streets is going crazy. People gotta have it. They serving up zesty diddy beef and people loving it. And since that's the case, Cameron, what, what, what was up with all the pink, man? Did Diddy, did Diddy approve that? What was y'all trying to prove? Harlem world. I'm from Harlem and I love Harlem, but what's going on? The prettiest niggas in the world. Oh my goodness. The most beautifulest niggas in the world is. I'm from Harlem. Like you know, fresh to death, you know. Fresh to death from head to toe with baby, with the baby waves. What's happening, man? I thought it was, I thought they were some players. I thought they were some pimps. I ain't know that it was a possibility. That they could be zesty. I don't like it, man. How y'all feel about it? Y'all gotta let me know. Cause all this news is alleged. Allegations and speculations. Now y'all know damn well, it ain't no tape. With Cameron and Mace. G <laughs> and Mace. <laughs> I can't even say it cause it's, that's ridiculous, man. Y'all know it ain't no tape. With no Cameron and Mace getting freaky deaky. But people will make something up, Photoshop something just to put it out there in the street. That's how crazy the technology is, man. They will AI artificial intelligent a Cameron Diddy tape, man. But it still make you wonder. It still make you wonder. What was the program all about? They had Cameron and paid in full watching a porno of himself in the club. Y'all remember that? He was in the club. Hold up. With a porno and the homies was watching him get it in in the club, man. This whole movie make you wonder what was really going on? How much zest was in them Harlem streets? Cause if Diddy was the man and he was able to move with Harlem dudes and he was moving the way he was moving, then what part of the game is that? I don't know, man. It's like a zesty conspiracy. Cause if they want to pin all this stuff on Diddy, you can't just pin it on Diddy. It's too many people involved. Ain't like he was freaking off with himself and all the people he called his friends. You figure hell, they was the main ones at the party with him. And Cameron them like his little protégés. Jay to kiss all of them. They protégés. He gave them a shot. He liked the dawn that they was working for. 
And this dude, Lil Rod, he don't pour so much salt in the game. It got people wondering about everybody. Now they got Mason in the conversation, even though he went off to be a pastor. Me personally, I don't feel like, man, I don't want to feel like none of these dudes zesty. But this some wild business. Mace get in a car accident, trying to pick up a, a train. A what? He could crash the whip. Like, yo, my man, oh shit. He crashed the whip. Trying to get at, get at one of them boys. Poor Mace, he left rap to find God. Made a comeback. And three years later, he made a very big mistake while driving in Atlanta in March 2007 around midnight. A female driver in front of him was turning left while Mace was slowly creeping to the right lane. Oh he tried to turn in front of the woman's truck and ended up colliding bink like, oh. oh like I, I can't saw it. it's late. I could barely see. I could just I was trying to I was trying to get him. You seen the boy with the mini skirt? That's <laughs> I wasn't trying to, <laughs> I wasn't trying to hit you. I was trying to hit him. Oh my goodness. That's the one I was trying to hit. I do apologize, ma'am. Look at this, man. It said, more embarrassingly for him, the woman he struck claims he was trying to circle the block. The pick. <laughs> she was looking dead at him when he was handling his business. Don't. She being nosy, she don't messed around and crashed, man. She could have sped up, went around. Oh my goodness. She all up in his business. Next thing you know, boom. Like, damn, you're supposed to be a pastor. I seen your bumper sticker, you asshole. You go to my church. Look at this. She told an Atlanta radio station all about it the next morning. She said, hold on, wait, hold on. She said the shims. They were running up to the car saying, girl, girl, we seen what happened. Oh we see everything. It's like five. Or six. <laughs> it's like five or six of them. Cause they out there working hard. They run up to the car saying, girl, are you okay? He been circling around here, girl, like four times already, like trying to pick up one of these queens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Somebody. <laughs> man, please say it ain't so bad. Somebody got to pick up the phone, man. Woo! That shit crazy, man. She put him on blast, man. Oh, man. She put that man on blast, y'all. Damn. And she ain't go easy on the pastor. <laughs> Said it was, it was five or six of them out there. Because they out there working. It's midnight, man. They, they scoping the block. They hanging out. They standing on the benches. They waiting in the alleyways. Like, I ain't going out there, man. Like, as soon as I go out there, I'm gonna switch my voice and get this money. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Based on circle of the block. Like, oh damn, there go Bethel. They're like, uh-uh, <laughs> I ain't getting in the car with him. That's crazy, man. He on the lookout, trying to do something strange for some change. <sighs> you figure you got all that fame. You got, you ain't got no swag for real. You ain't got no charisma. You weirded out. Let me find out they that weird to where they can't have normal relationships. 
they looking for a bust down. Like I'm trying to freak freak tonight. Don't care who it is. Now you touch your toes and I'ma do this. Like time for sloppy toppy for poppy. <laughs> he in the car with the fat face with a stack of hundreds in his hand. I got money, honey. Ain't nothing funny. Get down. Let me put it all in your tummy. Disgusting. Yo, man. If he out here living foul like that, that's a rumor, an allegation, and a speculation, y'all. So, don't take my word for it. I'm just trying to understand. Mace, Cam, what is up, man? Because they got this alleged people making up their own tapes because they want to see y'all together. Like, why would they want to do that? It's getting weird. Hold on, listen at this, y'all. Get that together. Okay, listen. Okay, run that back. Y'all go wrong then. It's that? I'm talking about you and Mace because I'm seeing. So, me and Mace, Mace do a lot, a lot of little shit that that don't really always got to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? But he'll do little shit like call me randomly and be like, yo, meet, we ain't speak a couple years. And he'll be like, yo, meet me here, da, 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 da. I'll be like, all right, bet. I give you an example. This is one example I give you. He calls me out the blue one day. Randomly. I, this is on tape. My man taped it. He's like, yo, meet me on 2 -5. I ain't speak to him a couple years. I'm like, all right, bet. But what era is this? Probably 2000. Eight? Okay. Probably 2008, yeah, something like that. He like, meet me on her 25th. I'm like, bet. I meet him. We talk. He like, yo, I got to go to Funk Flex car show. Let's go together. I'm like, all right, cool. I got to do something. He's like, I got to do something too. He tells me, yo, meet me on her 49th Street by the gas station. All right, cool. <laughs> go over there. He don't pick the phone up. Called me back, oh, I'm bugging. I'm by River Park Towers. All right, cool, I'll go over there. Down in the Bronx, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, he don't, because of course. <clears throat> damn, man. Damn, damn, damn. He had Cameron chasing him like a girl. Oh, my goodness. He wanted, a ch he wanted him to catch the chase. Like he the realer. You have to solve the puzzle to get to me. He got Cameron out there like Batman trying to get to the Joker. He looking for clues and shit. Like, was Mace here? Oh, he playing games. I got to find him. He let him play with him like that, man. What type of friendship? Hold up. This was in Westchester side. He don't pick up. So now it's me, Huddy, it's a few other niggas. We like, is this nigga doing this again? So we go to the car show. Like, let's see if this nigga car show. He there, he's like, oh shit, y'all, what y'all doing here? Y'all good? This, that, and the third. So we was like, yo, why you got us running around the city and shit? He like, come on, I know y'all not bugging over that. And I'm like, yo, all you had to do was <laughs> just say <laughs> that you don't fucking meet. But that's, it's a bunch of that. Yeah. It's like if a nigga keep poking you on your side a hundred times, you just gonna slap him. Mm -hmm. So, Yo, you know what it gotta be, man? And I ain't trying to be funny about it. What if something wrong with Mace? And Cam know something wrong with Mace and something been wrong with Mace for a long time. And they come to grips with it. Like Cam, I know, I know, I know. You my mans, I'm gonna hold you down, Mace. I'm gonna hold you down. And every day they say I lose brain cells. I... Hey, don't worry, I got you fam. I knew it was something wrong with you. Little Rod got people. <laughs> I hate to see his face, man. Hold up. Switch this up. No, go back, man. Because we got to talk about this little Rod dude. Get him. Get him right there. Leave him like that. And turn that off. We got to talk about little Rod. 
Because what he doing is shattering a lot of people's dreams. With these allegations, the music that we thought would be timeless is finally meeting the sands of time. Who is he to destroy a legacy of music for black people with allegations about some zesty happening? He want the money that bad. He the brother that took down bad boy records. That's like that dude that took down Bill Cosby, oh the comedian. What was his name? He took down Bill Cosby single handedly with a joke. Bill Cosby had to go to jail behind this man's comedy sketch. What part of the game is that? So for Little Rod, brother, you got to understand. You can't be playing with stuff like this because this man got fans. Biggie got fans. Real New Yorkers and people all across the world that love they shit. So you going to take a whole legacy and bend it over and put put all this zest all on it. That make Cameron look fuck it. Loom, Black Rob, rest in peace. Come on, man, you messing with people legacies. We gotta talk about Lil Rod. Cause this man, if he for him to be pulling a stunt like this. He better be telling the truth. And even if he is telling the truth, brother, the legacy is done. It's over. It's going to be like R. Kelly's catalog. All that good music, man, is going to waste. Don't nobody want to hear it no more, man. People ain't listening to R. Kelly no more. I don't remember the last time I heard some R. Kelly. It's going to be the same way with Biggie. People going to be like, turn that off. It was all a dream. Like, we'll go back to sleep. Turn that off. Bad, 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 bad boys. Like, nope, I don't want my sons listening to that. Turn that off. All his music. I'll be missing you. Like, no, I won't. Turn that off. The whole legacy is trash now. Because of Little Rod. It's pissing me off, man. I'm over here. I'm really mad. I got so much love for Mace. For being that young fly guy. And now... I see they was a little flamboyant, wasn't they? Oh my goodness. Mace was flamboyant. Diddy was very flamboyant. Again, um, Cameron, he was flamboyant. What means the world to you? My money, my car, my hair, my nails, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Very flamboyant. And you know what? People all across the world love they swag. Let's be real. People love that pretty boy swag. And they still do. It's a whole bunch of pretty dudes. They out here. They swagged up. They got their beards right lined up. Looking like they about to take a photo or something. It's a culture, man. It's a co and <sighs> Diddy is a big part of the culture. To be fly. Yo. <sighs> this gonna change fashion. Well, fashion, it's already over. Like, you know, it is what it is.
we want to stick with rap. You know what I'm saying? We want to stick with hip hop. We don't want to even think about nobody having no freak off tapes. They need to burn them. But you know, we in the digital era. Ain't no telling what's going on. People getting their computers seized and shit. Them old ass cell phones still lingering around in their trunks. They getting pulled over. Oh shit, they got the cell phone from 1994 when we was at the, at the naughty party. Like, Cam, you ever been on tape with Diddy? Like, what you, nigga, what you think? Like, you know, damn well, I've been on tape with Diddy and Mace and the rest of them. That's why I don't ever, never talk about Puff, because that nigga, he's sneaky. He's sneaky nigga with them tapes, man. From back in the day, back in the day when I was trying to get on, man. I was just trying to get on, man. Allegedly. 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 It's a lot of stuff we got to unpack. A lot of stuff we got to, um, we got to undo because they've been talking about a lot of weird stuff for a long time and we got to get to the bottom. Some of this stuff, man. Hold on. Go ahead. Hey, it say, was awkward. I'm not saying that, right. he, that it was for either one of their personal use. I'm just telling you what I saw. Okay. He's, he's, Puff had a brownstone, I believe, on 35th Street. And like, oh, Kanye, you ask Kanye, who does he prefer? How old were you when you came into that? But my, we dated and. Hold on. But Mike Epps said yeah. that to Shannon Sharp, like, if you think I'm going to be fighting you. Yeah, that's a smart <laughs> decision. <laughs> niggas is too grown to be wrestling. Y'all niggas doing all this curling. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> go ahead if you want. <laughs> go, go ahead if you want. Yeah, I see you doing your dips and all that. <laughs> go ahead. I know you on set number eight. <laughs> This don't sound right, y'all. Mace gloating over Shannon Sharp with them deep, with the Kool-Aid glasses on. Oh my the deep Kool-Aid glasses. Like, hi, these look fine. You damn right they look fun and zesty. Like, I put these shades on, they're cool. Like Elton John, they're cool. Like, I like these. They put them on my face. Like, oh. He probably did a selfie as soon as he put them on with a filter on it. Like, yeah, pretty shades, pretty shades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Diddy was in the party and pulled his pants down in front of everybody. They started walking away. He just kept on dancing, man. He just kept on dancing. Yo, he a wild boy. Wanted to show everybody his legs. Like, look. Like, hey, fellas, y'all want to get down? He done drunk three bottles of Henny. He lit. They at the steakhouse. This man all dropped his pants. Now watch me do my dance. He doing the new soldier dance. Don't drop this pants. They in, they in line trying to get to the bathroom. He's like, I know what y'all about to be touching on. Part of the game is that, man. Hold on. Hold on. We ain't getting that one phone call. And y'all see the phone number on the screen. That's what I'm waiting for. Y'all waiting for me. I'm waiting for y'all. Y'all looking at me. I'm looking at y'all. What part of the game? Look, man. Whoever call up, we got Twinkies and brownies and we ain't ashamed to share. So y'all need to, hey, you feeling, look, we could digitally hook you up with coupons and all that. So um, you might want to think about that if your stomach rumbling and you in the mood for some snacks, but you're going to have to call though. So yeah, that's the only way you're going to get them perks. But that's Negro here no there. Y'all got me working all hard and shit. My back hurt, yo. You working hard on the late night. 
looking miserable. Eyes looking all droopy, lips all chappy, nigga scratching. Waiting for that cash app. Dollar sign Sean Blaze. Let me stop, cause y'all quick to leave a video over something stupid, man. Let's get back into the news. You got Charleston White running these streets, speaking on people's sexualities, yo. Uh, Hold on, it's uh, not this. You may, you may support it, you may not. Uh, we look at a situation as far as the way the world moves and we look at like a- Yo, yo, hello, hello, who this is? Uh, uh, a puff daddy, a P Diddy. Uh, he, he's moving with uh, young Miami, young Carisha. She's got a podcast. He's put he's pouring money into her, making her a business. She's doing what she needs to do he for him. Yo, 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 hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, this in dog, man. Let me get a brownie. Yo, we got you on that brownie, but you got to answer the question first, dog. Like you, you just want the brownie and you don't want to answer the question. Y'all hear this dude on the phone, man? He think it's just gonna be a sweet treat. He call up here like a dog with his mouth open. You got to answer yeah, the question, yeah. brother, man. The question is this. Do you think Mace... Yeah, yeah, do you think Mace was Diddy's... Do you think Mace was Diddy's boyfriend back in the day? Yeah, the way that they acting over the year there, like they had something going on. Oh, my goodness. The way you answered that question, it sounds like you know what you're talking about when it comes to this subject. Oh, yeah. You know all about that yeah. life. <laughs> they owe each other money and all that stuff over the years. It got to be way more deeper than what it's supposed to be. You sound like you speaking from experience. <laughs> hey, Truman, I've been watching this shit over the years. <laughs> you that is, ain't been right on it anyway. You've been paying attention over the years about Diddy being zesty, bro? Yeah, man. It's the sign in there. Damn. You've been you been studying. You that should have been your interest for a long ass time. Hey man, I feel you. You know. That Diddy's sexuality is an interest to a lot of men out there. You just so happen to be one of them, buddy. Ah. Yeah. I'm you sorry. What right. was it? Was it something I said? Like what, what happened, bro? Because we was vibing, and then you got all like, is it something like? Did I say something to piss you off? Piss you off? Piss you off? Piss you off? It's just funny. It's just funny out there. <laughs> it is just funny, man. Because you know he's like he's he's a uh, he a tough ass guy, but really he's not. You know what I'm saying? So you said yeah, I act like I'm a tough ass guy, but really I'm not. Is that what you just said to my listeners and viewers about me? I said P did P did act like he a tough ass guy, but really he's not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you want to beef with me? <laughs> is that it? You want to beef with me on my show? Is that what it is? Oh, oh, I'm Sean Blazerton, the YouTube clown, phony baloney. No, forget you, man. Forget you. <laughs> what part of the game is that, bruh? Damn. Some cold-blooded people out here, man. I just don't understand it. <laughs> Hold on, man. Oh, um... man. Laughing in my face got me looking all stupid. People watching the video and stuff, man. I just don't know how I feel about this. You're a cool ass dude, man. <laughs> hey, man. It is what it is, bro. Yo, you the homie, man. You my brother. You my dog, man. And we gonna holla at you the next time we go live, man. Yo, don't be no stranger. We gonna holla at you soon, bro. No doubt, man. No Ooh. doubt. Yo, that was a cool cat. He was over there chilling. He picked up the phone. Damn, I forgot to give him his coupon for his brownie. He gonna have to um, hit me up or something. Matter of fact, I'll give it to him next time. Okay, let's keep it moving, man. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it, keep it moving. 
Diddy and Cam. Diddy and Mace. Diddy and Jada Kiss. Diddy, Diddy. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. He put them boys on. Like, wear this suit. And do this dance. And then move to the left, nigga. Step to the right. Move to the back. Step to mm-hmm. the... Yo, yo, hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello, hello. What up, Sean? What's going on? Who this be? This is Gina. I'm on the chat. I'm for it. What up? Gina, Gina, Gina. I'm so glad I've seen you. What is up, man? I've been waiting. What took what you so it? long? I've been, I've been what looking What about around. the zest, man? I, I, man? What's happening? I'm trying to diffuse some of the zest with this conversation. You know what I'm saying? You're a beautiful young lady. You called up here. I ain't got nothing but love for you. And I just want to say thank you. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome, baby. I don't want no brownies. That dude, that last dude, he was like in the pen. He want a brownie. Yeah. He was the puckery. You know, no, no. That was kind of zesty. A man calling up here talking about, I want a brownie. Oh my I want a brownie. I'm like, dude, it's past the bedtime. Lock in. He a grown ass man with a sweet he tooth. Take the air. <laughs> he take the air. He had a sweet yeah. tooth. He called up like, yeah, I take that brownie. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he was like seven and he's out of the demographics. This is a zesty ass video, though. So I guess. Yeah, when it's- like, what, why are you calling somebody else, daddy? And Mick is like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to take all this daddy you say. Get out of here. The video is zesty, man. It's all the way yeah. straight out zest, yo. You don't even check him. He's like, yeah, daddy. <laughs> Like, oh shit, another Sean Blazing is zesty shit blazing. Woof. That shit on fire. It's, it's a zesty ass video, man. All right, Sean. Have a good night, baby. Hold on, wait a minute. It ain't even like that, my way. What? <laughs> Do your, chat, your chat is lit. They're funny. I got to get back to it. Why you say what like that? Like I, what, like, like, like I get on your nerves. Like like I get on your nerves. You rather had a chat uh, over me? You rather had no, a chat? It's, it's a, you rather had, You would rather uh, had a chat over me? You making the chat, but the chat is lit. That's funny. I'm here for the jokes, baby. Mm-mm. How you rather? How you would rather have the chat over me? <laughs> that don't make no sense you know what i want to thank you so much for your phone call get back to the chat that's what you need matter of fact jump in the water i'm putting you back i'm taking you off the hook no i don't want this water i'm putting you this back in the water making everyone I'm, sexy. I'm, I'm, i don't put, want the water i'm putting you back in the water Ooh. and thank you so much for your phone call ma <clears throat> she jumped all up on the boat talking about the water what part of the game is that man that's like dealing with a ghetto chick when you got money. You in the bins, she getting your car smelling like oodles and noodles, talking about how the roof is leaking and her neighbors keep on taking baths. Oh my goodness. We like, man, I do not want this broke ass energy. Like shut your mouth and take this money. Oh my goodness. And um, yeah, don't don't say another word. Cause your body is banging, but your conversation is ghetto. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? This part twice. What's the business, bro, man? We've been waiting for a real dude to call up here and let these people know, man. And what I need you to let them know is, do you think that back in the day was Mace and Diddy fooling around? Like, cause Diddy is a zesty man, so. Was was Mace, was they zesty together or no? I think yeah. I think yeah, but hey, this is what I wanna ask you. I wonder I wonder if you mind if I question your mind. Hey brother, we all is, man. Okay, so you know, uh Gene Deal seen everything, right? yeah. Oh my goodness. Why I think he's zesty. I think so too, man. 
I think if you willing to participate in any way, shape or form with the fruity, once you grin, you in my friend. <laughs> Once you grinning and you skinning and you like you rubbing hey. your hands and you like what you seeing, then hey man, he know too much, man. He, he all know up about in the it. butt plug. <clears throat> he know everything. He know the he the deal. He, he got he it. Ba- he said he babysitted that man kids. <laughs> like Gene, I need you to sit. He baking pies. Like y'all get together, sit together. <laughs> He made him a grandpa, a babysitter for his kids, man. How you come to somebody as a grown ass man and say, I want you to babysit my kid? Nigga, who do I look like Big Mama's house to you, nigga? If anybody know about Mace, Dean Deal know. We thought Gene Deal was a bad guy. Like he out there with two clips. Posted up, ready to. <laughs> hey, that nigga had a uh, that, nigga, that nigga had a pink handle on that on that bitch. They probably ain't even let him get a gun. Like Gene, you just sitting uh, in the back with the kids, man. Oh shit! Hey man, I love you so much. Oh to man, yo, we appreciate you too, bro, man. And don't be no yeah. stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real talk, man. <laughs> no doubt. That's crazy. Oh, Gene Dill was a thugger, thugger, a gangster, gangster. Like he be moving through the club, you don't even see him. He got a dark aura. Oh shit, he like a ghost. People step back when they feel him coming. <laughs> we thought he was the boogeyman, John Wick. Got two clips in the holster. He double up on the ankles. He out there moving like a new Jack criminal. On some John Woo, some Kim, what's the dude? Like he on some old school karate film shit. Steven Seagal, he's snapping arms. He he made him babysit his kids. <sighs> what will make a man feel obligated? That's some shit that you put on your baby daddy. Like, I need you to wash the kids. Like, come on, babe. You want me to wash the kids? What if he was in love with Diddy on the low? Like, Diddy, my man, yeah, I said it, and... <laughs> he get drunk, he get high, he start talking crazy. Like, I said that, Diddy, my man. Yo, how zesty can zesty get? You gotta say that like you got door knockers in your ear. How zesty can zesty get? (laughs) Oh man, it's beyond crazy. Everybody involved, 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks. Yo, hold up, man. Hold up. Y'all need to see something. And it's bad. So bad, man. It's gonna be so bad. And I don't wanna do this, man. But let's be real. How many booty goons? You got Young Thug or Young Buck, the leader of the pack. Young Buck. (laughs) Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? This is Memphis Love. Yo, Memphis Love, I'm so glad you called in. Whatever you got to say, we all is. I just can't believe this shit. Damn. All these people. And some of these guys I had a crush on them back in the day. Back in the Dizzy. Yeah, but they acting like some boys in the barber shop on that you know what? You know that message. On the internet. 
barbershop freak offs. You know, I remember growing up in a barbershop. They was big bad boy fans, Tupac fans. You would see the posters up, had the magazines all in the barbershop. It was all about that hip hop, new flavor. People coming in there trying to get their hair cut like the rappers. It was all hip hop. Head to toe, people in the streets was Hmm. buying into the hip hop culture. Like, yeah, that's the way to go. So that means we all, we all been perpetrating the fraud. We must have. Hmm. The freak offs is on. The freak nick. Freak nick, yeah. They coming back on us with that one. That's sad. Nasty people. Some of these parents, yeah. Yeah, just expo- just doing too much. Nasty doing ass people. Much. Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm-hmm. La, 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 la. Lick your tongue. La, 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 la. Yeah, ain't that a mess? Nasty, mm. nasty, nasty. Naughty, naughty, nasty. Dirty people. Watch well, your enjoy- Look, I show sure enjoy your shows, and you keep doing what you're doing, young man. Mother, no, you ain't going to get out this deep conversation. It was Black History Month. You ain't calling in. You mm-hmm. going you gonna to talk this civil rights talk. <laughs> you deserve. This is what you here to do, sister. You just ain't going back out. You tried to sneak out the back door because it got a little too spiritual up in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My medicine kicking in. Your mm-hmm. medicine, <laughs> damn. Yeah, fifty one. Trying to handle you, yeah. fifty one. You you ain't got time, sister. Ain't got time. Look, everything everything breaking down like a blunt on a nigga at fifty one. Oh, I'm trying man. to keep it all together, but yeah. Sister, do you dance mm-hmm. at all? Yeah. You don't too. dance. You don't dance. Tell the truth. When the I last time lady, you dance? I take a leg. Hell, I ain't danced since January. I've been off work since then. I got kids I work with. You I need dance, to dance with them every day. You need to dance every day. That need to be your routine. I do. I do. I work out every day. I play my music. Yeah, play the music and you like every and dance. Day. Every day. Mm-hmm. You know, I do. Just I to do. keep your rhythm going. I definitely do that. Mm-hmm. Got to, mm-hmm. got to, and no nasty Uncle Luke music, neither. You probably put Boom, on some rump shaker, put on the rump shaker mm-hmm. song. You in there got the whole room smell like baby powder and cheese. You, oh my goodness, not baby powder and cheese. Well, I enjoy y'all hear myself on the radio on the TV. I'm a superstar. I done made it now. I done did my bit. Clout chasing, man. <laughs> Clout, ch- Clout chasing with the baby pot and cheese, man. There you go. That's all yours. That's all you. Tell your friends about it. Baby pot and cheese. Let the world okay, know. baby. <laughs> yup. Baby pot and cheese. That's all you, boy. <laughs> and we gonna holler at you later. Real talk. It's all Ooh. yours. Put it in the bag and sniff it, man. Oh my goodness, man. It is what it is. She called up here clout chasing. I thought she was trying to be my friend, man. She ain't give a damn about me. She just wanted to get her. She listening in the background. She like, man, I'm about to do myself a favor. She, she probably took a selfie holding the phone. Like it's me on live. Out here chasing the clout at 50 some years old. Man, what is the world coming to? People be online just shaking their booty, shaking their booty, shaking their booty. That's all they be with. Boom, boom. Shake it, shake, 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 shake. Wiggle, boo, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wobble, 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 wobble they booty all day. Online. Not knowing that the people that are watching, they like, damn, I bet she smell like cheese and baby powder. Them girls be straight sweating. They come home from the gym, got the greasy booty. They be like, I don't care. I know I stank. They don't care. Like they like them niggas like it stank. I don't give a shit. Oh my goodness. 
with a big bubble butt blowing out burpees, man. And y'all still be watching. It seemed like everybody freaky deaky on the low. I don't want to think that way about Cam. Cause he one of my favorite, one of my favorite rappers, man. I don't want to think that way about Mace, but that's what people be talking about. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. So the question. Damn, bro. It sound like you talking through an Ajax box or something. Say it again. We could barely hit. Why you sound like that? Why you sound right, like that, you? Hear me? Hear me Matter of fact, we gonna turn everything off. Whatever you got to say, we gonna all try to listen real hard to see what you hear. We hear you in the tunnel. We need you to climb out the hole. All right, what it look like now? What it sound like now? P perfect. You know what, bro? A1, man. You did it. Two thumbs up. We're going to get you some stickers, man. Yo, Reg, get get the stickers for this man <clears throat> and text it to his phone. We're going to um, text you some emojis for that because you got the sound right and we good to go. You good? Because we good, man. You good over there? Yeah, we good. We okay, good. all right, man. Yo, whatever you got to say, we listening, bro. All right, so um, I was calling about the question. Uh, you presented a question to the public. We want to talk about the question. Yes, indeed, brother. We going to talk about the question. And the question is, do you think... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Do you think that Mace was Diddy's boyfriend back in the day? Now, what logical thinking human being would say no? Everybody know. Everybody that that psycho man then came across, he got him. Now, look, my opinion, it's only uh, uh -oh. one, one. Yeah, it's my opinion. Uh oh. Everybody that that man and, and, and that came across in his life, then got it except for one group the lock i think the lock saw saw the disaster and they got the fuck out of there they got the fuck out of there and i, I guess something happened with the money you know shit went down um they, they, they came back you know uh threatened diddy you know you know uh sign off the contract whatever whatever but I those are the only three niggas I think escaped to that. Bruh. Everybody else, everybody else, <clears throat> bruh. Died. They Me. was in daddy's daddy's house. Daddy. Diddy was dead. It was daddy's house, bruh. And they was his they was in his house. People was living with him. They was living with each other. Freak off flavor unit. Meet you at the gate. You better know the passcode. But when you in the family, you access the freak. Freak, freak, y'all. Diddy time. He might bust a dance move in front of your mother and make her fall back in her seat like, whoo. Oh he a flamboyant player. He got one yeah. arm around Jada Kiss ball head smoothie. He probably kissed him on his head. And, and styles too like y'all look fabulous uh, uh, trying to be funny and shit like whatever diddy like yo don't ever do it i'm the only kiss around here nigga i'm the only nigga that do kisses man like don't you ever don't you ever kiss at me again man i'm the only kiss don't want to play that this d block nigga do you think it would ever went down like that man you are Ridiculous. <laughs> you sick, dog. I, I don't know if you real. Like, if, if you serious. Are you serious? 
hey, bro, I'm just trying to make sense out of all of this because we hip-hop fans to the core, bro. People was raised up on this music, grew up listening to it. People was born into hip-hop. People was conceived while listening to hip-hop music, man. It's ingrained in the DNA. We deserve to know because they get old and people looking at them like they are forefathers and do they deserve to be honored? Do they need a Mount Rushmore? Should they be in the annals of hip hop? I can't, I can't fathom to imagine Jada Kiss, South P, and she. Oh, shit. On, on any that I can't, I can't see it. The name. Like, Jada, Jada, Mama. It's like, it's like the Wu Tang. You don't look at them and say, "Oh yeah, they zesty." Jada you to the. I, I can't fathom. I can't fathom Jada on the zesty. Jada. Jada. Now, how, how many people now, you know named Jada? Now one. Will 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 like the look. Now look. Look at me. Come on, man. Pretty. He, he flimsy. He, uh, he, 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 uh, he, he looks sweet. He, I, I know, I know Puff Pepsi most did more. He said he, he ushered me. I'm pretty sure he ushered him. Well, everybody, I don't care how tough you is, uh, uh Dr. Dre, you remember Shake that? To the Mwah. And shake, you know shake. I can't see it. And Styles P. Styles P. That's like skateboard P. Styles P. Cause look, they got they got away from him, and they was they was uh, Jay was pulling the next jaw predominantly out of his pocket. Hey, he 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 wasn't with, he wasn't signed to nobody. He was coming up like uh, Master P out the pocket. Of him. Still they was wanna. with the diddler. They did a deal with the diddler. What about that, bro? Did they do a deal with the diddler or no? All right, look. How, how, how long was they with Puff? I don't know how long they was. They got in but, the door. In the door with Puff. In the door. Now, say Cat Williams. Cat Williams is in the door. You know what I'm saying? He's he seen it. But you know what I'm saying? Them being on a rap game, they got the fuck out of it because they, they saw what the fuck they had to do. I'm talking about right after Biggie died. They witnessed the death of B.I.G. They seen it go down and still stayed with the diddler. Like, yo, Big no longer here, y'all, but y'all, we still got to do our thing. Let's double up, bad boy. Let's go. Hey, y'all seen what happened to that nigga? You know he dead me, but you know, yo, hold on. Hold, hold your head. We, we going to keep it moving, make these millions. We got Mace. If you ever fuck with me, you know it's gonna be game over. You know what time it is, so whatever I like is what I like. If you don't like it, then you know get the fuck out my office. He was really they did a deal with the diddle world. No, they uh, that's when they went to Rough Rock. They had so they ain't really need the diddle. They had, they well why like, why did they do it, bro? If they ain't need them, why they do it? No way. They was on I'm, the I'm cover. Still- I'm telling you what happened. They they got in, they got in, they got a toe in the door. They saw, you know, no. hamburgers going no. out and all this other they, they, oh, No, we they, out. And I After hate to the cut. Out, I, they got they came out with all the I hate to cut you off, my <laughs> brother. I hate to cut you off, but they was on the cover of Puff Daddy and the Family. No way out. I remember. No I way remember. out, man. No motherfucker. You shit. Forget death row. No way out. Like you stuck. Once you in it, you. They was moving like the mob for real. No, is no way out. They was on the album cover for that. They bonded with this man during one of his darkest, sinisterest moments in his career. They signed a deal with the Diddler. Damn. Calling themselves the Warlocks. Like, damn, y'all feeling like that? Like, how low can you go? 
Like, yeah, we on all different types of wicked shit, for real. We like Bone Thugs, you know, 3-6 Mafia, you know, we, we know, we on that killer nigga shit, you know, you know. The lock, with the warlocks. He like, y'all need to cut that shit out. That shit creepy. That, that horrorcore shit ain't flying over here, bad boy. We get money. We leave that horrorcore shit to um, Tech 9 and them niggas. We don't do that no more. Like, no more horrorcore? Like, no, we get bitches. Too much money to be out here scaring bitches, man. Take that shit off. Your name the locks. He put them all to the game. Like, y'all take all that goofy shit off and put on some fly shit. He put them on, they they was rolling with Puff. Y'all do this dance, y'all do that dance. You move like this, I move like that. He was choreographing they flow. Do that make, no, knowing that, look, ain't nothing wrong with the locks, but knowing what we know about Puff make everything questionable and don't nobody want to question the locks they street solidified they good dudes on top of that styles p is a good brother he's a good brother we love styles p he's a he a damn good brother man and don't nobody want to say nothing bad about styles he's a he's a good brother we all know that chic luch he's he's a good brother man chic is a good guy he ain't no joke. He ain't no, he's a brother. He from the streets. He represent the streets. He's a good guy. Jada Kiss. Ain't nobody got nothing bad to say about Kiss, man. He's a good. They some good dudes. Solid. 100. But how solid is solid? Oh my nah, <laughs> I don't want to see another Africa Bambata situation. Because oh we thought he was an OG from the future past come to find out man i don't want to man they was with diddy like come on homie we need the contract like you have a party with a nigga like you know have you ever really had fun like go to vegas with a nigga you know i'm a spontaneous <laughs> I'm a spontaneous nigga. Like me, I like the spontaneous people. Like, you gotta know how to please me. He take his titty out and put it in Styles' face. What you think they gonna do for the contract? Man, I bust his shit. He start getting real friendly with his artists. Like, look at us. We in San Tropez. Like, we made it, y'all. Like, hand me the champagne. Like, you drink, I drink. Who gonna have a drink with me? Matter of fact, drink out the same bottle. You like that? It tastes good? Okay, come here. Let, let me let me tell you something real quick. Styles. Oh, my goodness. What you think he gonna do, man? If, if Diddy was zesty like that, let's be real. No, you are fucking ridiculous. What the fuck? Yo, and you, and you on the phone live with me. Like, you don't get, you don't get too fuck. Yo, why is you kicking all this zest back, man? You kick back mad zest. Am I really that zesty? Why you kick, no, why you no, kick no. back so much zest, man? Like a horse. That was extra zesty, bro. What, what, what was that? Oh my That's enough. Now you listen, carry off, man. What the no oh. more oh. that. Oh. Do we have an agreement? Hmm. You got no. This, you got the zest all in your bones. Oh no. Lay off the sugar, brother. Zest. Lay off. Take, stop eating them Twinkies and them oh, donuts. No, Yo, not I'm gonna die I don't, uh, I don't just stop them that. donuts. Don't eat no more of them. Don't, don't, don't eat that ice cream. Stuff. The only sweet stuff I eat is uh, cereal. You eat a whole bowl of cereal, huh? I ain't talking about no uh, Usher and Diddy cereal either. I'm, I like the sweet cereal with like uh, um, green peppers. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 shit. The classics. Prince's favorite cereals, Pretty Pebbles. Oh, you're gonna be a leprechaun and all that. 
Don't forget the Fruit Loops. Don't, don't forget the Fruit Loops. Don't fruit it. <laughs> he said it like Baby D, man. The Lady of Rage. He said it like the, ra the Lady of Rage, man. Don't forget the Fruit Loops. And it's one more. He said it like a legendary big girl, man. And don't forget the Fruit Loops. It's one more, though. One more food. There's one more food store. What, what is it, man? No, I want you to get. You want me? Come on, man. I ain't playing these. I ain't playing these, fans, <laughs> ain't playing these zesty in. games with you. Tell your fans to type it in. I the ain't top. playing no zesty games with no man. Look what time it is and all that. Talking about you want me to guess. I ain't been, look, man. Ain't nobody trying to be naughty and all that. You either gonna tell us or no, man. What is it? All right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm your horse. Pass out, man. <laughs> I'm about to pass out. Help me. Help me. Not oh, no freaks. Shit. Somebody help Listen. me. Help me. Oh, let's sing out. Oh, my Listen to the cereal that I'm about to tell you, young mm. man. Mm -mm. Are you listening? Oh, I got to take off the headphones. Who the headphones I'm about to off, <laughs> too much zest, man. It is too much. Ooh. Somebody call me, me now, man. It's too, too zesty, man. Give me 10 seconds so I can tell you the name of the cereal. Honey Nut Cheerio. You can't forget the Honey Nut Cheerios with the banana. Don't just slice the banana up in there. Oh, man. Damn, man. Oh, boy, I had to go get me some water. Oh, he's still... Yo, you still there, homie? And, and if I want to say oh, help... That's you. what it is, bro. Yo, we, we so glad you kicking it with us, man, because ain't nobody was calling. So the floor is still yours, man. But, you know, we got to calm it down a little bit. You all over the place. All right. So you over there flapping question. that fan and shit. What's up with the fan? He flapping, right, he flapping the it, fan. It, it, it's warm right here. It's warm right where I'm at. Oh, you flapping that fan real, real hard. We could hear it, man. Gotta calm Not that down, man. Matter of fact, let's talk sports for a second, man. Yo, them Lakers, man. How about them Lakers? That boy LeBron James, boy. You, you switched from oh, my that's to LeBron. Uh, what? <laughs> so you'd rather focus you would you would prefer the zest is that what you telling me man you know what i'm telling you is we're both in the same boat you say you want to float in the same boat bro i got They're my own both. boat bro get your boat I said, I said they both on the same boat yo who said anything about a boat bro they're both on the same ship they on the sh same ship together. Is it like the zesty Titanic you talking about? Or like, what is we even talking about right now? That's exactly what we're talking about, the zesty Titanic. And that, and that's exactly what you want to talk about, man, because you see all this zest on the screen. But, man, we got to keep it OG. Didn't I tell y'all we don't do the girly gossiping and spilling tea? We only spill Henny, man. You need to say it with your chest and all that and pour some Henny on it. How you talking about oh, uh, shit. Keeping, it, keeping it peaceful, oh, but you got the question of the day of uh, Diddy and, and, and me? That's, that's right there. That's that. The question mm -hmm. is that. Now you trying to call me out like I'm a queen diva and all that. Oh, what are you talking about here? Eh? Come on, don't bust my ball, okay? All right? <laughs> Oh, he Italian? Snig. Oh, my goodness. You're talking about Diddy. He, he screwed every freaking oh. guy that came, came across. I ain't from no... Fucking, from fucking Justin Timberlake to Justin Bieber. Oh, shit. We got John Guy to Dawn on the phone. I ain't even know. What are you, what, what are you talking about? He, Ron, he talking about this. Ron, Ron to Dawn on the phone. I ain't even know. That's the what's girl, up. The, the girl, he beats the shit out of him, put him in a freaking in hole. In a, in a basement some freaking way. I'm over here, I'm doing security for the guy. 
he, he's going down and he sees the girl. Come he's on, so man. You ain't thing. never going to get a gig in Hollywood like that. Cut it out. Stop it. Oh that's, that's a bad act. You ain't never going to get a gig like that in Hollywood. I the dare you as a grown ass man try to turn on some whack acting skills. That was butt. And I ain't trying to shit on your dream, but come on, man. That was pretty boo boo. And you was trying hard too. Like you on American bandstand, like America's got talent. You 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 went and put on your shirt and everything. <laughs> Extra lip gloss and everything. Trying to be um David Bowie and all that. <laughs> What part of the game, bro? We ain't got nothing but love for you, man. Real talk. You want me to switch it up? Do I want you to? What type of shit is that to say to another man? Come on, bro. If you gonna switch whatever you gonna switch, how you gonna ask a man? Do you want me to switch it up? Switch what up, man? Yo, you don't talk to a man like that. And I do appreciate your phone. You know, try me like eight, nine times, homie. You whatever while you're talking. You're you still, talk oh, now you want to be that. Rasta Zesty. He, he trying to put the he trying to put the Rasta sauce on it, man. He, he, he trying to put the jerk on the he trying to put the jerk on the Zesty, man. We ain't doing all that tonight. We ain't doing all that. And thank you so much for your phone call, bro. We gonna holler at you later and all that. And make sure you take care of yourself and all that. And make sure you be all right. We ain't doing all that. Tried to put the jerk sauce on the zesty. He turned to a, a Rasta. He winding. <laughs> he winding with the. <laughs> he winding with the zesty. What's wrong with him, man? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Damn. It's like that. It is what it is. He was a bad boy. Did he put him up to it? Like call that nigga Sean Blaze and say, <laughs> call, call that nigga Sean Blaze and say something zesty. Like I got it, boo. His name Wayman. <laughs> like yo Wayman. <laughs> Call that nigga Sean Blaze and say something zesty. <laughs> oh man, I'm having too much fun. I love kicking it with y'all, man. Shit is a trip. You talking about they got allegedly they got hip hop sex tapes coming. You get the tape shit all weird <laughs> got a camera on <laughs> rap city in the basement video he'll freestyle it <laughs> did it switch I switch shit switch to a porno it turned off it come back on <laughs> Got a P. Diddy video on it. <laughs> Yo, people getting real creative out here in these streets, man. Everybody trying to make a dollar. <laughs> it's some foolishness, man. That's all it is. <clears throat> but that's Negro here nor there. I'm over here tripping. <laughs> this shit too it's too zesty man. it's that pink smoke man it's all over the place man that pink smoke that shit dangerous you gotta be careful Cameron stay with that pink shit on now you, as a man you need to you know there's levels to this bro you got to watch it as a man too much or anything ain't no good for you. Man had on a pink, a pink shirt, eating a pink ice cream with a, with pink sprinkles on it. Oh my goodness. 
like, damn. This man really in his feelings today. I'm like, yep, I'm out here and what and listening to Lil Kim. Ghost writing for Lil Kim, man. Hold on, man. <clears throat> He had a he had a song called Cookies and Apple Juice. Now you know he ain't got no business eating no shit like that. Hold on, need to see this. It was a ridiculous video. Look at this, sha. Uh, Cookies and Apple Juice by Cameron. Who in the hell gonna eat that combination? Oh my goodness. Some chocolate chip cookies with a tall glass of apple juice. That ain't nothing but sugar. And he talking about that Mott's. That Mott's apple juice with some chocolate chip cookies. What type of concoction? Like, yo, you ever had cookies and apple juice? Like maybe you shouldn't be eating that shit together to get that funny bone tickling. <clears throat> Let Nigga had a pink padded insane asylum. He going crazy in the pink room. Oh my goodness! On some Nicki Minaj shit. Like I miss my baby, da 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 da. Like, yo, write that down, write that down. <clears throat> Extra jewelry. Look at his diamonds. He got a bracelet, like child. Why is his wrist broke like that? Oh my goodness! Like girl. Like, do you see the rings? I pay big money for these, baby. He living like a, a older, rich, Caucasian queen, man. Like, honey, you'll never find diamonds like this at Macy's. Oh, they're luxurious. I paid big money. Well, actually, Dame gave me the money. Oh, my goodness. Damon's paying for everything. It's his, all on his tab. It's all on his tab. Move out the way, Jay-Z. There's a new face at Rockefeller. And I'm the prototype, the little Nas X. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, this is Liddy calling from New York. Liddy, we need you Hi. right now. New York needs you. The streets need you, Liddy. Oh, really? Yes. We need to hear what you got to say. Because it's a lot of real ones out there. And they want to hear me and another real one like me preach okay. that gospel, man. So when we come together... It's a noble mm -hmm. moment. People paying attention. They listening hard. So what you Amen. got to say about all this, sister? Well, as far as Mace, right? You are talking about Mace? Yeah. I think Mace ran for his life when he left Puffy. And he ran so fast that he had to go to the church and he had to find God. And then he came back and then he dropped an album. He was like, oh, oh, I got to get away from the devil. Oh <laughs> I need God now. Like, I can't do this. I have to. I leave everything. Like, Lord, I need Jesus. Oh, God. You see what happened to Craig Mack? Listen, he didn't want to be another Craig Mack. He just had to come and do it. And anyway, he grew up in Harlem. So I think he was a, a safe guy. He did it. He, he was looking at all his jewelry, like these booty chains, <laughs> <laughs> like all my, <laughs> all, all my jewelry, all my clothes. It all oh. come from doing the booty. Oh no, Maze wasn't down with that. That's why he left. It broke his heart when he realized what Puff did to him. Like, yeah, I got chains. <laughs> yeah, I got no, whips. But now, right. now. <laughs> But Listen, now he, I want to do the booty now. No, but Mace wasn't with their booty. He was not with their booty. And by the way, I'm Haitian, so he was not with their booty. No, 
he left. Come he had on, to he man. helped. He asked Cam to help him, and then he ran. Yeah, that's what happened. How you gonna try to take up for Mace? Is he your cousin or something? Oh, no, I like Mace. You like Mace? That's your man's? No, like, I like Mace, too. No, 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 no. The music during that time, you know, um, he was pretty good. He did pretty, he did good songs with Puff Diddy Daddy, whatever they want to call him today. Puff Diddy, oh. that's what y'all call him in Haitian, Puff Diddy Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> he really that evil? He a Diddy out there in Haiti now? <laughs> you buy some candles, it got Diddy on the candle doing no, the dance. He's, listen, they call, because they want to call him Diddy, I don't know who I'll Diddy take is. Puff two Diddy candles. <laughs> Puff Diddy Daddy. Try okay, to get my swagger name. back. Puff Diddy Daddy. Oh, <laughs> that, listen, oh, you go start calling him that. Listen, Sean, continue to do what you do. Which is um, a very good thing. It can't what? be over like that. I was just starting to get comfortable with you. As soon as I started to settle back, now you want to get up out of the pool and everything. Or maybe the no, jacuzzi. See, that's, that's, yeah. No, it's not that. You know how sometimes people uh -huh. just they go too deep and stuff and then they don't know how to fall back? I didn't really know what was going on with you. I just got on the call. So I don't know. So you saying I was going too deep and you don't even know what no, the hell no, I'm no, talking no, no, about? No, 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 I, no, I, I, not you, me, not you, I me. like that, though. I, that's what we do here, man. <laughs> that's why we got all that blue and stuff on the screen. We trying to go oh. deep, man. We That's what we <laughs> oh do much. here. We deep divers and marine oh. people. All right. <laughs> okay. Yo, that's what we came here for, to go as deep as you want to go, man. It's a platform where people okay. can okay. take a dive. Okay, so so, what what are we talking about, Puff DD Daddy? We talking about him freaking off every artist that ever came through the door at Bad Boy. Him having a sexual interest in the men and the women. And there was I a lot of weird they, people on his label. Absolutely. I think that's what they made, you know, because remember, when Puffy came out, he had to go go, go hang out with Clive Davis. So we had to go back to that. So he was always into that crazy stuff. You know what I mean? So, <sighs> and they, and listen, and the only person that I could say that um, he's, um, he's coming back right now is the spirit of the notorious B.I.G. Because he did Vicky bad. He really, really did. And um, all this freaking off and all the things that he used to do around people like him, everybody know about it. Mm. Is he still going to be down with Bad Boy? I think he has to hide. You say you feel like Cameron have to hide? Not Cameron. Puff Diddy died D has to hide. What about Cam? Do you feel like Cam have to hide? I don't feel so, no. But what? What what what, what Cam had it for? Cam is a beloved dude in the streets, but he got yeah, ties with Mr. Mace and Betha Diddy's right Mace. hand devil. No, 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 no. Mace is a good guy. No, no, no. Don't say that. Mace is a good guy. Okay? He's a good guy. Oh, you a freedom fighter for Mason Betha, huh? And we're gonna rise to the top. To the right. You a for, fan. You gonna love. You a fan Kevin. of Mason. But listen, how can I? I mean, he's a good guy. What do he do? He didn't do nothing. You know what? You good people, man. You ain't trying to dog a brother out. And I'm, no. I'm upset about it, but... That's really a beautiful <laughs> thing, man. It's sisters that they call, and at any given moment, they'll kick the nigga <laughs> in his face. Like, yeah, right there. Ugh. They will help oh. me be the nigga. Damn. Oh, I, I'm not going to do that. He didn't do anything. Now, if you talking about Puff Diddy died deep, that's a little different. Okay. But not me. What, what about Puffy, then? Do you feel like he doing all that freaky deaky stuff with younger people as an old man? He dealing with younger, he twice their age, and then he and his old ass been doing it for years. True, yes. Unfortunately, that's the lifestyle of those people. You know, they get you when you, you know, when you're young and vulnerable, and you, <clears> it's hard for you to say no. And plus, these people need deals. And then he got D.D. Jick so that people could sing for God, 
you know, have you ever been swallowed? You know, all that stuff. It's so crazy. It's just pure madness. I would like to think that the Honorable T.D. Jakes <laughs> met, met Diddy, met <laughs> him, had a, a, a mutual uh-huh. business type of relationship. But besides uh-huh. business, he never even spoke to Diddy. That's what I like to believe. Uh, okay, God, God bless if that's your thought. Like when but, I see um, you, when I see you, player, I see you, but... Uh-huh. I guess you haven't been swallowed, John Blazington. Hold on. Did he meet Diddy outside of the church and take these pictures on the church lawn? <laughs> the one where he had his, his head on his shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> hey, before you leave, young man, let me follow you. I don't leave. Hold on. He walk into the car. Everybody sit Jesus. still. I'll be back. In Jesus' name. In yeah, Jesus' name. Y'all, people. wait. He yeah. leaving. Anybody's... Mm-hmm. He stopped in the middle of his sermon. Anybody seen did he was just sitting right there. Deacon, did you see him? Oh, he leaving out the door. Let me hold on. Let me grab my coat. Amen. Now the choir, y'all sing a couple of songs. Let me go get him. Let me go get him. (laughs) While he running out the door, they be standing up, clapping, catching the Holy Ghost because he running out the door to go get daddy. Oh man, Puff Diddy Daddy. I don't know what to say about that guy, man. Yeah, you, y'all, that sounds so damn evil, man. What, what, Puff Diddy Daddy? Oh, Uh-oh. that is evil. Don't say that Uh-oh. three times in a row, man. Uh-oh. That's bad. Well, this is, they want me hit, They want me to call him, Um, what is that, Diddy? Ooh, I don't that know, Diddy. spooky. Didi. It's spooky. Mm-mm, I know Puffy. You know, baby, who that is? Oh, that's just Puff Daddy. I'm not no Diddy. No, 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 no. Of Diddy Daddy, okay? Man, I bet you season the hell out of your food. Oh, absolutely. Man, can I get a plate? <laughs> absolutely. What do you want? Man, look, you got the type of flavoring that'll keep anybody satisfied, man. I'm pretty sure when you decide to let somebody go, they probably be begging to come back. I mean, sometimes. It'd be like that. Hold but on. My husband you, doesn't like it though, but yeah, it'd man, be like that. You, you married and all that with the sexy Khadijah voice on? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> you naughty and devilish like Diddy. Listen, you listen. You are attacking me. This I'm is a freak in, off. No, no, no. It ain't. <laughs> I am not in the freak off. I am not the evil person. Uh, intellectual. <laughs> uh, intellect. You called in for an intellectual freak off with some man oh on YouTube. God. If your man heard, he will. He will freak. Freak off Thursdays. Whatever. Your, your, your husband will freak out if he heard you on the radio snickering oh and giggling. I could, we could see all your team. Oh my God, listen, Sean. It you was just very, smiling, it was, smiling listen, on the phone with another you know man. You tried to get me in trouble. My name is Liddy. Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. I appreciate mm-hmm. your time, okay? Yeah, we appreciate I'm gonna you too. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah, Bye. yeah, we got love for you. we going <laughs> to holler at you later, sister. Real talk. No Ooh. doubt. Y'all see how, that, how she acting tonight? She's snickering. She, <laughs> she's snickering like Whoopi Goldberg, man. Oh my goodness. Snickering like Sea Lee. <laughs> Hold on, man. I typed that Sea Lee and all this bullshit popped up. No, oh, man. What, what's the chick name? I can't even get it together. <clears throat> I typed in Seedly and Celery popped up. That's God's way of telling me. Don't even be thinking about no zesty ass shit. Especially not the color purple, man. Oh my goodness. Focus on them greens and focus on your green. I forget a Seedly nigga, you need to eat some celery. The God fighting back through the artificial intelligence. Like message. Hey man, the last thing anybody want to see is some damn celery. Some.
some of y'all cringing at the thought. Like, I eat it if it had ranch or blue cheese on it. Shoot, yeah, with some chicken wings, it'll be bomb. Oh my goodness. With some fries, what? I would totally eat that, yup. Some young stoners out there thinking about it, man. That's Negro here, no there. We got to get back into this news. Cause there's some more stuff that we need to hear. Listen at this, y'all. I'm pussy. God damn. God, is, is that what it is? Yeah, he's doing God. it. God. <laughs> he's got a podcast. He's put. He's pouring money into her, making her a business. She's doing what she needs to do he for him. He's buying young pussy. God damn. Oh. God, is, is that what it is? Yeah, he's doing God. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's doing that, man. He, he putting that Beijing shit on his bird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, buying that young pussy. So yeah, man, him and him and his son done shared the same girlfriend. He done try to get Lori Harvey, man. Yeah, that nigga, he really a pervert. Yeah, but I said, who who in the wrong, Pope Daddy or Young Miami? Who who, who in the wrong in this scenario, man? God damn it. What you mean, who in the wrong? Oh, oh every, everybody right? Oh, uh, everybody yeah, right? Say, why, why would she be wrong? Why, why why would he be wrong? I mean, shit. He 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 said something that was hard hitting, man. Shout out to Charleston White, man. He said something that was very, very hard hitting. <clears throat> he said, the way Diddy was moving, he got a problem. He a pervert, like R. Kelly. Perverted people do perverted things, man. And you gotta be bold. You got to be aware of a pervert, man, because whatever they perversion is, that's they Smeagol or they precious or whatever. They are mutant for that shit. And if you got it, they'll be a, they'll be a freak for it. It's disgusting. Got to be careful. And that's why. But Cam Ron and all them dudes like Mace. <clears throat> Lil Rod went through it. He couldn't believe it. If these allegations are true, this young man was groped and swallowed. Oh he in the party with all them big, they smelling like that was sweet cologne. Them big swab brothers got the ladies chasing them and they going home with each other. They wearing matching suits. They backstage getting dressed like, no, take that off, put that on, turn to the side. You dirty bitch, let's go. Come on, let's work. Oh my goodness. Like when I get out there, I'm gonna be fabulous and you better, you better be fabulous too. Like I can't afford that jacket, Puff. I'ma pay for the jacket, but I'ma want my shit back. But you are gonna be fly tonight, playboy. Don't even worry about it, man, it's just clothes. We got you with the clothes. We're going to give you a little bag. Don't even worry. We got a wardrobe waiting. <clears throat> Mace come out there looking so fly. Y'all be like, oh, Mace got money. Hey, Mace balling. Like, oh, look at his chain. Diddy like, I want all that shit before that nigga leave. But make sure he leave all that in the dressing room. Oh, my goodness. Talking about the chain, the ring. Don't let him leave with this with that ring on his finger. And walk his ass back to the dressing room and to make sure he take all that shit off. Like, damn, Puff, I can't keep the jacket, man. He backstage bitching. Not even the pants. Like, damn, I gotta take it all off. And what about the shades? They prescriptions. I can't, how I'm gonna get home? Tell Puff, can I keep the shades? How bad was it? It probably wasn't that bad. Due to allegations and due to speculations, anything is possible, man. Especially on YouTube. It all depends on what you want to believe, man. People want to believe what make them feel good. If it make you feel good to think that Diddy smacked asses of rappers in his career 
patted them on the back and told them a good job. Good job. That was good. You better work. You better look at you. Yeah, look, look at me. Look at no Mace. Look at me. Look, look at me, Mace. You better work. Now I'm so, <laughs> I'm so high. I thought I seen Rude Paul. And Cam was all on it. He said Mace had him chasing him all around the city. <clears throat> like I'm looking for my man. Oh my goodness. Like I've been looking. I think he's on the midnight train to Georgia. When Cameron heard the news that Mace moved to Georgia, that shit hit him in his heart. Go on the midnight train, midnight train. Mace ain't have a dollar to his name. He on the train with the peanuts. Oh my goodness. Hey Mason, bye bye, wake up. Go, 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 go. They left his ass on the countryside in Georgia somewhere. Like Atlanta is 356 miles away from here. Oh my like it's dead airport anywhere. He had to live in the woods for a couple of weeks when he first got to Georgia. He walked in. <laughs> he walked into Atlanta wearing a bear cloth. Oh my Did you kill that shit yourself? Got maggots all on it. Like I need a missionary home. Like I have nothing. Can I live in your church? They showed up the next day. Allegedly. May sleep on the doorstep of the church. Like I ain't got nowhere to go. Or he was doing laundry or something. He was working at a laundromat. Just like the dude on paid in full. That's what they said happened. He was working at the laundromat, sniffing, <laughs> sniffing people back pockets. Come on, man. And this all alleged, this all entertainment. And if you don't think it's funny, it's bad comedy, man. It's horrible, it's bad. It's the worst stand up you ever heard in your life. Just deal with it, man. You watch worse movies on Netflix. The movies be trash. And after you watch it, you feel like you've been taken advantage of. It'd be a quick, it's not even titillating. You be thinking you're going to get off. You watch the whole movie and you're not even turned on. They take your cookies every month and you think you're going to get some. They tease you all that. All it is is a tease to tickle your fancy and they never pay. You never climax off one of them damn movies, man. But that's Negro in no there. <clears throat> one thing for sure. Cam is the man. The stooly doolies, the rooly toolies, the booty cooties. All the cuties that's rolling with Judy and her big booty cuties from I'm Cutie. You rock Sacconis. No, I'm not a phony. Don't dot my horn. You're not the phony. You're not the homie. You're not a phony. And you're not a crony. Rony Tony, make baloney. Tasting like ravioli. Oh, uh, I never did a diddy, but I did a big papa. Shout out the big papa. He would eat a big whopper. They gave him an opportunity, man. And Cam. <sighs> man. Hey, if we gonna have that conversation, we gonna have this conversation. So I could keep it respectful. I got to keep it respectful. 
Because comedy is one thing and disrespect is another. And I would never want to disrespect any, <laughs> any of these guys right here, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my Jewels. Jewels. Ju Juju. Jewels. Santana. <clears throat> One of the most flavorfulest groups in hip hop, you gotta admit. It's a lot of flavor in their camp. But Jim Jones had a super perm on some busy bone. Who the one that look? Is that busy bone in a group? I'm gonna miss everybody. Bone thugs, dip thugs, <clears throat> bone thugs, and blue cheese. That's that dip. They had, um, yeah, they had busy bone in the group. And Jewel's and Jewel Santana. And Jim Jones will bust your shit. They had JR Ryder. A dude with a pen and a pad and a mean 16 from Harlow. That little rail. All they did was crack jokes behind his back about how ugly he. They said he was ugly. And that was kind of funny why they why they all call Hell Rail ugly like that. What they thought they was pretty or something? Oh my goodness. Why they do Hell Rail like that? Like yo, part of my back. All the ugly niggas get to the back. All the all yo yo Jim, get come over here, man. Yo, Jewels. Jewel, come in and get in this picture with me so we can get all the bitches. Oh Yo, ugly niggas play the cut. Yo, y'all niggas move to this side. Hell, bro, get get back. Yo, hell, yo, step back. They be jumping just to get in the picture. They play. Look how they play freaky Zeke to the side. Hey, yo, box him out. Box him. Yo, let, let him stand right there. Box him out with the pink. That's how we gonna do it. That way, when they want to crop this shit, you know, they could just crop. They made him a croppable option. Like, yo, you know what the stand play, boy? You got to get behind me, freak. You know, oh, you better. Hey, hey, the baby in the middle. I'm the youngest right here. <laughs> the mellow ball of the game. Hey, like I'm next up. Yep. Yeah. It's me, young buck, young hope, huh, Jewels, huh, huh. Like I'm him, about to take over the game. They gave me the chain, huh? Next hover, huh, huh. Womp, 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 man. Man, when they tell it, don't nobody want to tell the dip set story, because don't nobody want to disrespect the dips. Shit. Somebody gonna end up doing it though. How in the hell did not only Kanye West infiltrate Rockefeller, but Pharrell was able to infiltrate two, two of the biggest weird guys. At, at that time, they was weird. Today, they, they not weird. But back then, Kanye West and Pharrell was weird. So was these dudes gangster or no? Hey, what you drink? You want a drink? Okay, you can drink from my bottle. Okay, you, what you drink? You want to have another drink? Oh, okay, but you, let's talk about music. Matter of fact, you got my number? Okay, well, take my phone number. Yo, don't call Jay. Don't call Jay. Call me. Call me. If you need something, don't call Jay. Call me first, okay? Do you understand? Don't call Jay. Call me. Like, okay, I guess I'll call. I'll call you. I, I won't. I won't call Jay. 
Like, okay, are right, we cool? I guess we're cool. He throw up the Star Trek as soon as he leave. Like, Jay-Z? Uh, oh, man, I just ran into Dame Dash. It was crazy. I'm scared. Like, if he do something to me, like, can you do something to stop him? Don't worry, I'll call you in the morning. Okay. Okay. What type of business would he have with Pharrell? And Cam, come on, man. Y'all see the blowout? Look like he got a razor in his pocket. Give you a buck 50. Hey, what you looking at? I ain't no pretty punk. Oh my goodness. I'm with my mans with the pink. <laughs> he with his mans with the pink jacket on. Look how Jewel's hugged up. Why he got his arm on him like he Marilyn Monroe? Oh my goodness. Why he grip up on Cam like that? Looking like the Pointer Sisters. Like, stand there, Natalie. I'm here. He's standing next to Cam like his name, Natalie. Like, yes, I am, Glory. Like, I'm here with my man. Oh, my goodness. Like a black exploitation movie. Like, yes, I am here with my man. And I, he looked like he had the player's ball. Like, I got two of the baddest bitches in Harlem with me. Oh my Nobody, man, you ain't never seen no two new, new, two new niggas do tooly doolies, the bully bullies, man. Yeah, yo, I got two bad light skin, be Beyonce one and Beyonce two. You know, like, you know since I do. Got two baddies on the baddie, baddie boys, you know, all that. Allegedly, man, them colors is flavoring, they're, they're vibrant. New York City, what, what is really? My man was in the video with the um, the candy curls. Oh my goodness. They thought that was a Yeti. Like, who the Yeti? Had candy curls bopping in the back. His hair was fly. He, he let that. His hair was flying all over the place. Hey, hold on. Look, look at they dance. They did they own lean back. Hey, come and get it, Joe. Come, come, come and get it, Joe. We leaning back to what? It was very, very ignorant back then, man. He looked like all he did was eat Skittles, Snickers, Airheads. Like, I love that candy. Hey. You get, <laughs> you get in the car. He got lemon heads, all that shit in the dash. He got a Halloween box all year round sitting in the damn armrest. He chewing. <laughs> Nigga chewing the Tootsie Rolls. He, he got star crunches, all that shit. In the Lambo at 18. <laughs> all that dollar store candy. Hey! Cavities acting up when he rapping. Like we moving them toolies. Woo! We blowing them toolies. Woo! That tooth be hurting, man. Wrapping that garbage with a mouth full of cavities. Immortal Technique versus Joel said. <laughs> Immortal Technique versus Joel Santana, man. That would be bad. I'll, I'll expose your coke snorting nose to both all the mofos. You won't know till you don't know till it's over. You're sniffing on coke, boy. Nope, you're not a soldier. They wouldn't even do a reply. Oh man. Yo, shout out to the dips. They they K 
Cam was their boss. Cam was their boss. They didn't like the way that felt. Cam had a strong, he, that was his unit. He was running his own thing. He was the man. And as soon as Jim Jones did that ball in, yo, we could do a whole nother video on that. <clears throat> it's like the saga continues. As soon as one of them gets some shine, that's when the group split up. Like I got my shine, Richie. Yeah, that's what I've been looking for. I got my shine. His mother like, yes, Cam, he got his shine. Let him get his shine, Cam. Oh you always want the light. Let my baby, let my baby, Cam, let my baby feel the light. Come on, Cam. Let my baby shine. Like y'all wasn't saying that shit when I was taking y'all out the country. I hops oh paying for all that motherfucking food, paying your bills. No, I don't want to hear that shit, auntie. Y'all wasn't when I bought you the house, the truck, the I paid for all. Now, now he want oh, now he paid for he paved the way. Like that's fucked up. Y'all supposed to be my family, man. As soon as he got on. They outcasted Cam. Like he wasn't the reason. It hurt Cam so bad. Instead of going to the church, he went back to Mace. Oh my goodness. Like, man, I ain't about to go crazy before I go to the church. I'm going to have to call Mace and get a head start. And man, I was going to break down and go to the church, brother. That's why I called you Mace. It's been a long time. I said I was never going to call you again, but the truth is I need you because I'm at a point in my life where it's either I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm going to have to run the guard or go crazy, man. Oh Every other day, it's another freak off, man. Your boy Diddy, nigga, nigga keep calling my phone. Oh like, what did you do to get away from this nigga? Because every other week it's a freak off, man. I, I can't take it no more. First he had Cassie, then they, they, I don't know. I, I don't sound funny about him. I ain't feeling it. I doubt if that's the case, man. But with all these allegations about this guy, Diddy, you could pretty much say what you want to say, baby. The weirder, the better. Like, it all makes sense. That's how bad this is in the media. But you know, <clears throat> these brothers got feelings. So that's why I gotta let them know that it's all love. You know what I'm saying? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's up? What's up, man? Let's go, man. Gotta make a comment, man, up on, up on oh May, man. If you did, man. You know, they work with them boys out there, man. Watching the show, man. You know what I mean? I'm West Coast over here in LA, man. And um, yeah, you know what I mean? That's why I'm independent, you know what I mean? For real, man. So I want to give a shout out to your you know I mean to your team out there, man. You doing what you doing, man. It's corrupt, man. It's all kind Yo, of we got the homie corrupt from DPG on the phone, y'all. Can y'all believe it? That's what's up. Yo, what they do, corrupt? Uh, yeah, man, just living through a couple of channels, man. Yo, we got a West Coast legend on the phone, everybody. I, I don't made it because Corrupt going to send the video to Snoop Dogg and Snoop going to get it to Dr. Dre and Dr. Dre going to get it to Jimmy Iovine and then Eminem going to hear about the show and Shade 4 or 5 going to be calling. They got this big old check with all this money. No doubt, no doubt, man. But I don't want to hold you up too long, man. I just want to send my love, man. Let you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. Stay positive, man. Hey, Corrupt, we're going to have to do a podcast together, brother, because you the reason why I'm making it to the big leagues. And thank you so much for giving me a shout out. 
A shout out to uh, Snoop no Dogg and Dr. Dre. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah. No doubt. We gonna holler at you later. Real talk. Thank him so thank him so much for his phone call, man. Oh man, he about to share the video with with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, yeah, Dogg. And Dr. Dre ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. I'm about to blow up. Ice Cube is gonna do a movie with me, man. Me, Day Day, and Cube. The Friday of all Fridays. It's gonna be the best one. Cat Williams is coming back. Starring Sean Blazerton, man. What y'all think about that? Okay, man. Let's go ahead and get into some real stuff, y'all. Because them gangsters is out there watching. And they want to know what's really going on. You got some real hard head knuckleheads out there watching. They ain't liking all the sugar. They don't like that pink horsepower. They don't want to see nothing that got nothing to do with that. That ain't what y'all signed up for. Y'all need to listen at this, man. Play that. Rack TV. Oh, shit. Shout yeah. out to m Hit that bell. But it was real, though. You yeah. Got Hold on. You know, we're going to see if this works. And if it don't work, we're going to give you a job. And that was like the scariest shit I ever heard in wait, my wait, life. Wait. The Rockefeller. He said, look. Bell. Hit the subscribe. This clip. And let's vibe. Yo, shout, like shout out to um, m Ray. was this, murder. When I first got to Rockefeller, he said, look, Cam, look, you got you a second chance at this music shit. You know, we're going to see if this works, and if it don't work, we're going to give you a job. And that was like the scariest shit I ever heard in my life. <laughs> but it was real, though. You yeah. got to respect that. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, yo, damn, I, I don't want no job, but oh, we got to make this work because you don't get a lot of chances in hip hop. So yeah. we Damn, they told him they would give him a job. Was he in the mob or something like <clears throat> what type of fraternity? They will move you up the ranks. They going to take care of you. What type of family is that? Like if don't work out with you with rap, man, we get your job, you know, nice pay, you know, get you in there doing something, make some big money. Either way, it's going to work. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna put you, we got you, Cam. We're gonna take care of you, Cam. How you get those type of connections? Like, that's my man, CTT, that's the day, my man. I used to do things for them back in the day, you know. I hope it wasn't no Africa Bam Bottom Part 2.3.0. You got to watch them OGs. <clears throat> them OGs, they be crooked, man. They come home from jail and you got all them young boys out there lost and turned out. Like I'm rolling with Greg. That's my man. You know, I, you know, I love Greg. They'll put their life on the line for their OG. Like you my mother, you my father, you my you my everything, man. You know. Ooh, Jerome. You gotta watch them OGs. They be like, I'ma show you right. Yeah, take that, take that, take that, take that. That's right. I'ma show you. You wanna be rich, you wanna be famous, I told you. You gotta be like me. That's it. Be like me, nigga. So all you gotta do, you wanna be successful. You see what your problem is? You trying to be more like you, you need to be more like me. That's where you fucking up. Now put on the coat. Like I'm better, I've been in school. I, I done graduated from college. Like don't play with me. You have a second grade education. You gonna put on the clothes and no. I mean, the door's open. Ain't nobody begging your ass to stay. You wanna get this money or no. Steve. I'm so sorry I bust you over the head with that bottle. You had me in my feelings. Please forgive me. I'm brother love. 
Uh, Cam, let me holler at you, money. I see you out there wearing all that pink. Me and Meek Mill, we like to wear our own clothes. You know, it's not Sean John, it's, it's Miki Sean. We think about taking it global. Back in the day, was Mace just a business partner? Or was it something else? It was definitely something that caused him to run to the church. <clears throat> and as far as them having a sex tape, that's all alleged allegations. Ain't none of that going on. But you, just, when you see shit like this, you just never, <laughs> you never know, man. You just never know. A little Rod, he set the internet on fire with the zestiest of zestiest of allegations. Mace got dimples. Oh my goodness. Why is he? Hold on, y'all. Stop it right there. Why he look like one of them porcelain baby dolls? Oh my goodness. Why is he looking like a baby? I wouldn't trust this nigga around no little kids. They might get the wrong idea. It's like wanna play Fortnite. Like I love Fortnite. <laughs> you walk in the house, May sitting on the floor with the kids, Indian style, with a controller in his hand, playing Fortnite drooling. <laughs> drooling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> with your kids, man. Tell me you wouldn't be petrified. Like, what the fuck this nigga doing in here? He in there, he's smelling bad, man. Oh my goodness. Hold on, go ahead, play that, play that, man. He made it work. And that. Yeah, I mean, so that's great, because I mean, I wasn't there. That's why I'm asking the questions. At this point, I'm in church, so I'm not really yeah. knowing what's going on. Right. So this no, means absolutely. Dane gave no, a lot of people right. jobs, regardless of what people say. And him giving you a platform, he gave a lot of people in Harlem jobs. Oh, absolutely. It's a bunch of people outside of me that are, are still in prominent positions now. Um... <clears throat> Hold on, man. Dame was giving a lot of people jobs. So people was coming to Dame. Dame had a lot of access to a lot of people. What type of game was he playing? Kanye West in the building when he thought the pink polos would hurt the rock. Like, take that off, daddy. Don't wear that in public. Oh my goodness. You might want to take that off. They pushing him back in the studio. You can't come out here wearing that. Wait, hold on, wait, boy. Lock him up. Like, why y'all treat me like that? But had him all up in the office looking crazy. With some tight ass pants on. Looking just like that with a book. I'm a backpacker. A backpacker. Oh my <clears throat> like, yep, I, that's my group, you know. I do a little jazz, I'm hip hop. Matter of fact, you could call me a backpacker. Oh my goodness. He was a backpacker rapper. And when you see me with the backpack, you know what it is. Like I'm in somebody's hotel right now. And I ain't playing. I'm getting to the money for real. I'm in here with these niggas every day, smelling they sweat right now. Meek Mill, you can never be me, boy. Gonna cut your hair, trying to look like me. You ain't never gonna be yay. 
I got the diddy before you ever, before you ever got the daddy. Like, I'm down with the rock. And what? And what? Rock. Rock. And they let me get on the MIC. Dame let me do what I want to do. He like the. Oh, oh, damn. He looking more fierce than Shay Shay. Oh, my goodness. He look like he about to slap the shit out of that dude. He walking up on him like how he walked up on Chris Rock. He be like, keep my wife. <laughs> You be like, why you mad? Keep my wife name out your mouth. Like I said, Jada Kiss is my favorite rapper. You tripping? Oh hell no! Hell no! Oh my <clears throat> he looked like he swallowed Michael Jackson's soul. Like right before the, he got there before the paramedics, man. And rest in peace to bike. He was waiting in the tree like a, <laughs> waiting in the tree like a frog. He leaped out. <gasps> uh -hoo! Okay, which way is Hollywood? Is it that way? Wait until they see me. 50, he's 60, 70 years old. He looked like he probably a good 28. Like I'm the Gandhi of music, baby. It gotta have that Quincy Jones thing. When they thought pink polos would hurt the rock and Cam got the shit to pop. Like, you know what, homie? That shit fly for real. I swear, if I take that shit and stepped out on 150, niggas will go crazy, bitch. Got the pink turn around. Oh, shit. It got the shit in the back. Yo, yo, give me the connect to, you, to your stylist because I'm, I'm feeling your swag. Once they see me wear it, they going to have to accept it. Tooty, fruity, booty, booty, dooty, booty, goody, dooty. And once I put it on, Everybody can come outside. Ain't that something? And Dame was like, whatever, okay, whatever. Go ahead, y'all can do it. I don't care. Like, it is what it is. That's how Diddy make his money. That's how we make our money. And Diddy dirty money. He online looking to see what bad boy doing. They swagger Jack Diddy so much, Diddy gave up. Like, damn, I can't do me because he and everybody doing me. Yo, he truly a legend. For real. He truly a legend. This man done influenced plenty of people in hip hop. Hold on. <clears throat> the hell? Oh my goodness. What is the world coming to? Diddy pleads with Kanye West to stop after White Lives Matter shirt backlash. Drama break down. That's probably why they lashed his ass. Like, who the fuck are you, dude? Like, Kanye does what Kanye does. You're fucking up the program, Diddy. Like, I'm just saying, a black man shouldn't be saying no stuff like that with no white light, you know? Like, who do you think you are, Malcolm X? Aren't you the freak off king? Like, shouldn't you go somewhere and just have sex? Oh my goodness. Hold on. I remember Eminem said that in the rhyme hold on
they love Eminem, so I know they got his shit on here. The rhyme and everything. Cause um he says some a bunch of wild shit about Diddy. <clears throat> and people thought he was just joking back then. Hold on. I gotta type it in like this, y'all stay on. Gotta be careful typing this in. Um He said, I'm looking at these lyrics. I got to be careful. When I, cause Eminem is very, very controversial. And I can't even repeat this stuff that they got, that he's saying about Diddy. Talking about, um, you know, oh, this must be it. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, here we go. We might have to go through this whole song. So the phone lines is open if y'all want to call. <clears throat> I ain't about to say all them corny. Um, And not that he corny. But we going to get straight to the part about Puffy. Is he talking about um Marilyn Manson and all that? I don't want to talk about that. Where the part he talking about Diddy at? Where the part he said what he said about Puffy. Cause I don't want to talk about no schizophrenic whose eyes get so squinted. Nope, we ain't doing none of that. Where the part? Do y'all see it? Cause I ain't see it. Where the part? Oh, there you go. Hold on. There you go. Hold on. Look, 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 look. He said, oh. Um, Cause all these fans screaming is making my ears ring. So I just throw up the middle finger and let it linger longer than the rumor that I was sticking to Christina. Cause if I ever stuck to it, no, cause if I ever stuck it to any singer in showbiz, it'd be Jennifer Lopez and Puffy knows this. Oh. <sighs> Come on, man. <clears throat> trying to mix some beef into his <laughs> trying to mix some beef into his cottage cheese, man. Oh my like I'm gonna mix it and stir it and give it some beef. He said, cause if I stick it to anybody in showbiz, it'd be Jennifer Lopez and Puff it knows this. I'm sorry, Puff, but I don't give a fuck. If this chick was my own mother, I would. Oh, come on, man. That's why I said I can't be saying his rhymes and all that, man. Look, get that off the screen, man. He talking about his. He got it in for his moms. He just in there playing with her perfume and all that shit. Like, go be with your father. Like, where is that? That old Bob. He got the lipstick on. Bob. Oh my God. Bob. 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 Like, go to hell. Bob, what is that for with you? Woo, woo, woo. Fuck you, Annie's trailer. I'm gone. Oh my goodness. She come back home. <laughs> she come back home. It's can. <laughs> it's cans of spam and shit. He eating like a cat. Like, open up another can, I'll kick your ass. Oh I know you, man, man. Got a poster. <laughs> he got a poster of his mom on his wall. Like, mama. The hell going on, man? <laughs> Look at this, man. Did I <laughs> this shit corny, man. Oh, man, come on. Ain't nobody on D block listening to this, man. You got to be a bona fide shit. Trick, trick, even turn this shit down. Like, nope, like turn that shit down. When ain't nobody looking. Trick, trick, turn the volume all the way down. 
He makes sure ain't nobody looking first. He walk over to the radio. <laughs> trick, trick, walk over to the radio. He can look left. He look right. Man, it's turn this shit down. Oh my goodness. Like, man, don't nobody want to hear about nobody with their own mother with no it's shit, man, don't ever say no shit like that out your mouth. And he going on and on and talking about a new brother and all that at the same time. I just say that it ain't mine. It was, it's just, come on, man, it's too sick. Get away with saying no shit like that. If most deaf came out and said some shit like that, they would have boycotted his ass. His album release party, the fire department would have came up in there. Like that, get him. He's that's the most deaf. Get him. Like I ain't no reggae artist. I do hip hop. They would have deported most deaf back to Jamaica. Like I was born in Brooklyn. What are you talking about? Send him back. Go do some reggae. Get the guy there. If he was talking where Eminem was talking. Y'all see how that go. It is what it is. But one thing for sure, all the people that have been tuning in and watching and listening, y'all amazing. Y'all the y'all the A-listers just for being a part of this program, man. You got to look at the bigger picture. We've been doing this for for a long time. And now we about to take a leap, a dive. Look at that. We got Trident vibes in the building, man. This is an aggressively positive chat we got going on here, man. And you don't see that on a lot of videos. So that lets you know that I ain't trying to be malicious. I'm just spreading a lot of love out there. We don't know what's going on with these celebrities. All we can go off of is what they be saying in the news. Diddy been getting it in with a lot of his friends. He's a friendly man. If you and his company, he wants you to be company. A lot of them dudes was living at his house and he was daddy and they treated him like that. Look at this man. Mace has opened up about something fans have wondered about when it came to getting Cameron's first record deal set up. Cameron grilled Mace on the latest episode of their podcast. It is what it is on Thursday, September 28th about why he took him to meet the notorious big in the mid nineties for a deal instead of Diddy's bad boy records where Mace called home at the time. So he took him. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. No, that beat ain't gonna work. No, turn all that shit off. He took him to see Biggie instead of taking him to Diddy. Was he afraid that Diddy was gonna put it on Cam? They said he got his rap name because he was the camera man. Like, is the camera on? A camera on? Oh shit, yeah, yeah, the camera on. Like, y'all go ahead, do your thing, do your thing. Like, I got it, I got it on cam. Like, where's cam? I need somebody to film this. Like, tell that nigga I'm up the block. I'll be, I gotta get some batteries for the cam. Like, nigga, I paid you $50 for them batteries, man. You should never be low. Matter of fact, we're going to have to upgrade your shit. Get you an iPhone or something, man. Now, I ain't about to take my clothes off until Cam get here, you know, get all this footage. Like, come on, Cam, we need you at the party. He said that. He took him to Biggie before he took him to Puff. Like, um, I got my man. I'm gonna hook you up with somebody else. 
Nope, no, we is not sharing Puff. I got what I got going on with Puff. I like it just like that, Playboy. I'ma find you somebody. There's plenty of ballers in hip hop. All you need is a baller. Big guy, though. Big guy, big doing big shit. But no, you cannot have Puff on them. But Puffy, Puffy is all mine. I would rather have played games with you than to give you the contact to my man. It was like an episode of Paid in Full. Like, yo, can you give me the number to your connect? As soon as he would have gave him the connect to Puffy, Cam would have murked this ass, man. <clears throat> soon as he shook hands with Puff, like, night, night, playboy, I'm the next in line. You think I'm going to wait for you to live your whole career before I be the man? I'll pop you before I let you stay on the throne, man. I'm the king of Harlem. What? Mace was in fear for his life. Like, if I give him my connect, this nigga going to kill me. I'm going to be dead just like Tupac and Biggie fucking with Cam. Like, shit. Biggie about to get got. So if he were big at the party oh and he in the truck oh shit i could kill two birds with one stone nigga act like i owe him something like damn we used to be cool when we was kids nigga extorting me like i always got extorted by cam i couldn't right? that's why i went to the church it's not like my money was my money niggas was extorting me for the little crumb that I had. Gotta pay this nigga, pay that nigga. How I'm gonna pay this nigga? But they worked it out anyway. They worked it out anyways, man. Yo, let me say this before I get out of here. Cause all this stuff is, is jokes, fun and games for entertainment purposes. But I love the fact that Mason Cam worked it out because uh, <clears throat> Cam felt slighted by Jim Jones. He like, damn, now I see what it feel like when, when the nigga gets shined and then they want to shit on the niggas that they came up with, man. I need to be kissing Mace ass, man. Because if it wasn't for him, these niggas, so they so ungrateful. After all I did for them, they act like I ain't do shit. They treat me like I'm the bad guy. But I'm the one that introduced them to Dane. Jay, all them niggas they working with, it was because of me, man. They want to treat me like the bad guy, but still want to work with Jay and all that. I might as well just be friends with Mace because I did the same shit. Mace, I want to apologize, brother, because now I see how niggas is, man. Now I know why you was moving, why you was moving with the dudes, with the dooley dooties, the booty tooties, and woody cooties. Oh I know why you do that dance now, do you know? Because as a grown man, I, I realized, you know, it's only one way up to the stars, you know? All the way up, your butt. The only way I'm going to do the podcast is if it got purple, pink, baby blues. I like vibrant colors. I want to be able to feel like I'm, I'm the Shannon Sharp for hip hop, man. That's what I'm going for. Skip Bayless is Shannon Sharp. Yo, I'm going to be Skip Bayless. You be Shannon Sharp. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'm going to be Stephen A. Smith and you be saying it short. That's how we going to do the show. Now, I could definitely be saying it short. I could wear nice clothes with big, pretty glasses. Oh, mama, I'm going to be like saying it short. Oh like, that's so good, baby. Mama, I got a new lane. I don't have to be a pastor, but I still do believe in the Lord. But I want, Mama, I want to be like Shannon Shaw. Oh my goodness. Have you heard of him, Shay Shay? 
Cam said it would be a really, really good idea. I get to wear his glasses and his suits and look important. I can even wear them zesty ass little chains. He got the same Shay Shay. He got the Shay Shay package. He went to the mall and said, give me the Shay Shay. Like this way right here. Some little dude named Santiago, five foot two, show him around the whole mall. Like this right here is the best. It is exotic coat. It is good. It is good. You put this on the silk. It's ooh, on your body. Like silk on my body. I like that. Give me two of those shirts. Yes, magnifical. And the pants to go with it with the socks. Play boy. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, you know you made me feel so good. You know you made me feel so good. We like <laughs> I love dressing like Shannon Sean. Oh my goodness. This better than dressing like when I was with Puff. I could breathe in this shit. Nigga had me in a sweatsuit. I almost <laughs> like Cat Williams. I almost died. <laughs> you had your ass in the big ass leather. <laughs> A leather poncho in the summertime. Like, I almost died. Yo ass fuck around and pass out. Shooting a video with Puff. Hold on, what the hell I just do? Look at this man. That's what I'm talking about. Haul them sticks together. Cameron and Mace perform horse and carriage. For first time ever at the Apollo Theater. Horse and carriage. Oh my God, man. Damn, do I even got time for this tonight? These niggas did a song and had the, they was in the horse and the carriage together. Oh my God, my head is spinning, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the last thing. Damn, Cam Ron. Oh my God, man, Cam Ron. Horse. It's too much zest about to pass out. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Carriage. It's too zesty, man. Scorching. Fingers hurting. Shit, blistering, man. Horse and carriage. Oh my God, man. Shit feel like I'm in hell. Oh my it's too zesty. Eek. Over here burning up. Cha! <laughs> man, I never wanted this much zest, man. I gotta try to keep it together. Oh, pray for me. Look at this, man. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he. Oh, my oh. Oh, my goodness. No, he didn't. With the prescription glasses, bro. Nigga had prescriptions with a receding hairline. Looking like the black Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> he looked like the black Quentin Tarantino, man. <laughs> he holding this. He holding them shits like they fly. The car, that car looks so damn tight. The car, he tight is. He hold it. He ain't even looking at the camera. He modeling. Man, I'm gonna take my shit. Yo, yo, hold on. Let get. Okay, take the picture. He ain't got no swag. He got a public enemy's jacket on. Sweating. Where the chains at? Where the rings at? <clears throat> he looked like he about to go to the library and brush up on some goo <laughs> brush up on some goosebump books, man. Oh man. 
Hey, man. <laughs> they some weird dudes, man. Especially Mace. And they link back up after all these years. Yo, I wouldn't trust them together with shit, man. No pots, no pans, no nothing. Especially unsupervised. They probably burned down the whole damn house. They be like some stooges. We bumping into each other. Like, how do we get out of the house? Like, come on, Mace, it's a window upstairs. I think I could tie a rope. They should do a movie. The three stooges of Harlem. Who gonna be the other stooge, man? Matter of fact, let me quit disrespecting them like that. <clears throat> <laughs> The bobbleheads of Harlem. Oh my goodness. The bobbleheads of Harlem. A documentary by all the big wigs. They they all got one thing in common. Everybody that ever got money out of Harlem B. All them niggas had two brains, my brother. They are the seed of Yakub. Oh my goodness. Metaphysically and scientifically, the seed of Yakub. Born with two brains to see that's why Mace able to get with Pete Diddy the underground intellectual alien clan. Oh my goodness. They connect through the tentacles, man. That's why they will have an obsession with being zesty. Like I could break down the metaphysicals, my brothers. They call him Mace because that's the only way to keep him off them boys. Oh my goodness. They try bullets, they try taser, they try. He's an animal. Only way to keep him off them boys, you gotta put the mace on him. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. Y'all scary asses need to cut that out. Call up here shaking. <clears throat> all I hear is them damn teeth rattling. She but she gonna bit all her nails off. Looking like the black version of that thing from the ring. A treacherous madness mess. She called up here shaking. <sighs> Squeezing her mama hand. Okay, let's go ahead <clears throat> and wind this thing down. It's almost two in the morning. But I gotta clear up all this shit that I said. So I'm gonna spend this last part of the video speaking on the record because uh this is comedy satire none of it's real it's all fictional comic book material not to be taken seriously um cam is a good dude mace is a good dude if you ask me diddy is a man and uh men do things that you know especially when they got money and power they probably shouldn't be doing <clears throat> But grown men have choices and options, and that's why I ain't rocking with this little rod. I'm not feeling what he got going on here, man. It seemed like something the younger generation is willing to pull off and not knowing how deep they'll throw a brother under the bus. I could see the sisters doing it, but for a man to throw another man under the bus, who, somebody, his mama, who talked? Who, did, who talked to him about this? Cause he look crazy right now. If that's your cousin, Lil Rod, yeah, that's my cousin. People gonna be like, ugh. Like Lil Rod's your cousin, huh? Oh, so y'all must got incest in your family. Oh my goodness. Like whoever said that? Like, well, you know, you know, if he subjected himself to be with Diddy, that type of stuff starts in the home. Uh -uh, my big daddy ain't never did nothing like that. His whole family, he just, why would he do that? <clears throat> his little cousin in school was cool because Lil Rod was his cousin. And now the kids don't even want to talk to him no more. Hey man, your cousin Zesty, man. Like, yeah, but that's still my cousin. He's still cool with Puff. That's his friend. 
He's still cool with Puff and Puff is his friend. I swear that he said that just to be funny. Like, nah, you and your family's a bunch of weirdos, man. He don't ruin everything for everybody in his life. His girlfriend looking at him like, for real? Like, did he really? You let him do what? Like, uh. Like, I'm gonna go out tonight. I think I'm gonna go out. You know, I haven't been out in a while. I'm going out tonight. Oh my goodness. He was like, baby, like what, what, because of Diddy? Like, no, ew, like, no, ew. And not because of, ew, uh, I gotta go, uh, uh, uh. But man, this shit ain't cool, man. I need that $30 million. Like, you have no substantial proof or evidence of any hanky panky. Oh These documents are nothing but allegations. Sean Blazerton could have came up with this shit. Now, who the hell is Sean Blazerton? Like, I need my $30 million. Like, do you know what I sacrificed for this shit? You said you gave up the booty. But anyway, man, how y'all feeling out there? Cause I'm feeling, I'm over here, shit falling all over the place. A nigga over here drunk. Oh my goodness. But I ain't been drinking nothing but lime juice, baby. Nothing but lime juice, yeah. That Dr. Sebi remedy, man. That's all I'm drinking. Yeah. Be over here butt naked sweating doing the live just looking at the camera like yeah <laughs> like travis scott at that concert yeah. Yeah. it turned into a monster they could be a gargoyle all the way till 3 a.m man Yo, how y'all doing out there, man? Y'all good? Amanda Van Wyke. She sound like she got money, man. Somebody hit that cash at. With a name like that, I know she got paper. She flaunting her family all in the comment section like, yes, the Wyke's in the house. Oh, we got Tamika Brandy Cartier. Tamika Hill. We got like eight, nine Tamikas in the building. We got Brandy. Draco Fury in the building, man. How y'all doing out there? So much love for y'all. Next time we'll talk about the pink horsepower and um hey man, it's a lot of questionable things, but I love the fact that Cam's still out there doing his thing. They still doing their thing. And um ain't nothing wrong with them besides the fact. That they got Diddy in their story. <sighs> Saw a suspect. Who knows? I doubt if Cam or Mace had anything to do with uh anything to do with Puff sexually or whatever. But for Little Rod to be making these allegations, what we gonna do with them black family when it's all said and done, man? Is he invited to the barbecue? We all chilling, listening to Bad Boy Records. And Lil Rod pull up. He get out of the Uber. He walking over, looking like he about to get a plate. We gonna give him a plate. Do he get love like that after what he pulled with Diddy? People gonna be shaking their heads. Like you let that man do what do you boy? You let him do what? He get the old men at the park riled up. Like if that nigga did that to me. Oh my goodness. God, kick him, kick him in his nuts. Like I would never, 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 ever, never, ever. Oh, oh. They start playing on um, chess and everything. Where the chess pieces at, man? With, with all shit on. Shot him in the river. Damn, man, I done shot the chess pieces talking to that youngster, man. He 
He let him do what? He did it for a check. Oh my goodness. He should have just put on some lingerie. Like I'm about to serve my time. Like, like but it don't fail me now. I'm about to turn his day out. He in there getting dressed, putting on the sweetest of colognes. I did it gonna be home in five minutes. Oh he talking to himself in the mirror. Like, get your shit together, bitch. Like, here come Diddy. Diddy coming the door. This <laughs> this nigga swing around the corner with a face full of makeup. Oh like dinner be ready in five minutes. Like, what the fuck? Be like I like that daddy what we <laughs> what we got in here macaroni and cheese oh I like that daddy it, you put mar <laughs> you put marshmallows all in the shit this shit look good daddy anything for you puffa boo 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 everything was okay today baby like man back your punk ass up man like, whoo, what did I do? What did I do? Like, come on, you getting a little too zesty and all that. <laughs> like, you playing too much with me. You all in my face right now. Like, back up, man. You got to know when to turn it off and turn it on. You on, you on that Dwight Howard time right now, man. Like, that shit ain't sexy. You got to be gangster like Tupac, man. You know, you know how to turn that shit. Where you think he learned how to turn that shit on and turn that shit off? I'ma learn you, boy. I'ma oh upgrade you. Get your bitch ass some tattoos, man. Now all that makeup, man. Wipe that shit, man. Wipe that shit off your face, man. Bad boys. You hear me? Look at Stevie J on the tape. Look. There he, <laughs> there he go. Look at Stevie. See how he's smiling? Yeah, he like that. You're a bad boy. Oh, you ain't never know that about Stevie? Yeah, he a wild boy. Like, what you thought? Like, yeah, that's how we get to him. Look at this part. Look, look, look. He put his leg up. Huh? Oh, Stevie, he a dirty dog. You dirty, Stevie. You dirty. You bad boy. <clears throat> the, the worst comic book you ever heard in your life, man. What in the hell is going on out there? This dude, Lil Rod, oh my God. As a man, you ought to be ashamed. And the reason why I say that, you better release a video or something. Don't be out here bluffing. We need a snippet or something or else. You, you a fraud. You like the Lizzo of lawsuits. The, the Lizzo of lawsuits. He a fraud. Lil Ride. What type of man with any pride? Shit. I would rather be Big Ride. Oh Biggest Ride. Big fat thick ride. They be like, damn. I pull your pants up, youngster. Got my lady in here. You know they call him Little Thick Ride, right? Like, who? 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 Your auntie flipped it. <laughs> she flipped the table at Red Lobster trying to look back to see who name is Big Thick Ride, man. She flipped the biscuits in the air and everything. Trying to look back. <clears throat> this man said his name Lil Rod. Oh my goodness. Like that's it. <laughs> Lil Donkey. Lil Donker. Call me Lil Donk. Oh my goodness. He doing ad libs. That like, little one, little one. Rod Tiny. Lil me, Lil me. All in the ad libs. 
and he got allegations, child. What in the hell? <sighs> oh man. Diddy in the club with his legs out. Like, should somebody tell him to pull his pants up? It's crazy, man. Okay, let me go ahead. Matter of fact, this is the perfect time to do what I'm gonna do and get on out of here, man. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Get on out of here. <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and do it, baby. And I wanna thank y'all for tuning in, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So let me go ahead and get this right so I can go ahead and get up out of here. Let's figure this thing out. This the part where I answer my own question and make my move up out of here, man. So the question is, was Mace Diddy's boyfriend back in the day? A very zesty question, yes indeed, man. But it's a necessary question due to these new circumstances. You got a man claiming that Diddy was all over his anus and Diddy would not take no for an answer. And he showed him videos of famous celebrities getting it in with other men to entice that man to join the party. So you want to get a Grammy? Okay, well, you know what it takes to get a Grammy, right? Oh, you ain't know? I'll show you just in case you think I'm BSing. There goes Stevie, Meek Mill, you see him, Usher, they all at the party. I got all, I got everybody at the party getting naughty, trust me. What you gonna do? We wanna be a baller, shot caller, spoiler. Giving booty in the van with the spoilers. <clears throat> you got options and choices to make. And for everybody that ever signed a deal with Diddy, even the locks, and I know everybody loved the locks and I love the locks too, but they did a deal with the diddler. Cam wrong was getting treated like a flunky for Mace. And when Mace left, he came out dropping bombs. Now they back cool. I know these dudes get plenty of chicks, but I think after a while, dealing with all them skeezers, they, they probably get turned out by chicks, man. It'd be some weird women out there. Like, yo, 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 don't do that. Get your face away from my, oh, hold on. What, what you what you do like, damn, like, damn. Well, what, what, what you doing right now? Like, oh no, like, damn, don't go down there. Like, what you doing? Oh, oh, damn, oh, oh. oh my hey, ma. Hey ma, hey ma, hey, hey, hey ma, hey, hey, hey. Oh <clears throat> Like you like that, didn't you? You nasty, you nasty. Like, oh, uh, she was disgusting. I'm gonna call her back tomorrow, her nasty ass. They be dealing with some, some skeezers. You go to their house, they got toys all on the dresser. Like, what you about to do with that? Hey, man, them dudes, they be getting turned out. Be taking that X. Once upon a time, they was all talk about taking X, man. That was the big thing in hip hop. They was talking about popping the Molly and popping the X. They all was doing it. They was making music. They was in the studio doing the shit, making songs. And if they was on that, anything liable to go down. For every rapper 
that ever mentioned anything about taking some some X or something like that. Shit, a pop the Molly or that's how y'all everybody was turning up like that at one time. They probably still do. It was going down in the A in New York, Cali, all over the world. They be in the studio joking too much. Hey, come on, Playboy. Look at your chain. Look at my chain. Hey, oh, your chain ain't hitting on nothing. My chain. I paid 500 to staff for my chain. What about your rain? What about your rain? They start touching on each other's hands and shit. Like, oh, I like your pinky ring. Like, you like that? The diamond twinkle, they look each other in the eye, like, oh, like, ah, I, I, I choose you, baby. Oh, Cameron coming there with all that pink on. They be like, hello, gorgeous. Like, man, pour on my back. Like, who is that? Like, I need to get your autograph. I come over here. I see it with this fabulous ensemble. I just came to get your autograph. Ozzy Osbourne, you ain't got it. No, not Ozzy Osbourne. What's the other dude's name? I'm over here tripping. Elton John. Elton John, you ain't got to ask for my autograph. Yo, I signed it wherever you want me to sign it. Meet me in the men's room. Oh, shit. Somebody don't hit that cash app. Let me show y'all some love real quick. I'm about to get out of here in a minute, man. I'm trying to let this, you know. You know, I'm trying to handle my minutes real quick. Yo, shout out to Tammy and Demetrius Bright, Elaine Brown, Derek Rochelle, Ong Mong. Cloud, Sheen is real, and Dinka Dunson, Humble Waters, Jacqueline Hervey, and Tammy, Tammy Jackson, Lauren Gammon, Grace, and the whole family, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Now I'm about to go ahead and get out of here. Now I'm gonna answer this question before I get out of here, man. Do I think that Mason Diddy has some weird stuff going on back in the day. Hold on. Y'all listen at this. No, get it together. Play, play that one more time. This the only way I can answer this question. Listen at this. Puff out of Brownstone, I believe on 35th Street and like Park Avenue between um. It's some brownstones down there. I believe 30, 35 or 36. And Mace was staying there. And um, I went to go and I went to use the bathroom. And it was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. And Jeez. when I came out, I asked him what's about. He like, that's homeboy's joint. You know, I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here. But I don't know. I said, well, this one your sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where his bathroom at, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's where the He went over to where Mace was at with Diddy. Mace had him come over to the spot, the Diddy spot. Whatever they about to talk about, whatever they about to do. Why would he bring Cam back to his nasty ass spot? where it goes down at. Why was they there? They couldn't meet in the streets. Why did he take them to the freak pad? Oh my goodness. That's the real question. Why would he even you all up in his clutter? In the booty room, you was there, you seen it. Why would he invite you? To, and they got sex toys all on the scene. State your business, sir. Somebody make it make sense, man. Hold on. One more time. Puff out of Brownstone, I believe, on 35th Street 
and like Park Avenue between um Park it's some brownstones down there, I believe 30, 35 or thirty six. And Mace was staying there. And um I went to go and I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo um on the bathroom sink. Oh my god. And goodness. when I came out I asked him what's about. He like that's homeboy's joint, you know. So you was in his bedroom? And what you, why you had to use the bathroom? Like, yo, let's, let's see, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, we here, you know, I'm here with you, we, we, we do. Was they sitting on the bed writing raps? Yo, man, somebody help me understand. What in the hell was he doing in that man bedroom? and got up to use the bathroom and oh my god oh my goodness like what is that he come back asking questions in his tidy whities but man what is that on the sink what's going on up in here like i ain't know you had that like who is that for what is that in there like what the hell is that on the sink he questioned him about something going on in his own home and it was some zesty business He seen it with his own two eyes and put two and two together like anybody would. Hold on, yo. I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here, but I don't know. I said, well, this one your sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where his bathroom at. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's word to my son because stop breathing. I but swear to God. But you know what? Guys use dildos on girls sometimes. That's true. We seen some. What he said, was, I'm not saying he did. Right. I'm just, just telling you what I said. It was just awkward. I'm not. Well, why was you in this man's bedroom, though? Don't Puff got a living room? He got a he got a whole lot of shit downstairs. He got a kitchen, a pool, a man cave. Y'all could have shot some pool. Oh my goodness. I know Puff got options. It's some comfy spots y'all could have lounged out and sat far apart and kicked it like some bouses, light up some cigars or some shit. Get a bottle of, open a bottle of scotch and do some gangster sh What was y'all doing in that man room? Cam and Mace go in the room and close the door. All you see is that smoke coming from under the door. Like, what the? And the stranger things is going on over here. Like, come on, Cam. Like, what y'all been doing since y'all was kids? Shit don't make no sense. He trying to tell on Mace, but he telling on himself. Listen at this. Puff had a brownstone, I believe, on 35th Street and, like, Park Avenue between, um... It's some brownstones down there, I believe 30, 35 or 36. And Mace was staying there. And um I went to go and I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo um on the bathroom sink. And Jeez. when I came out, I asked him what's about. He like, that's homeboy's joint, you know. I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here, but I don't know. I said, Well, this one your sink, this is your bathroom, you're using this bathroom. <laughs> Mace dropped the Addy <clears throat> and Cam came a lurking. Like, you know what? That's why I'm gonna have Cam come to your house when you ain't here. Oh Wanna play games with me? Your ass on tour. Okay, cool. Cam, the address is 555. Five, five. Oh he looking out the window like Malcolm X. Nervous like a bitch. Like you better hurry up and get here before Puff come home. I'm on my way. It's raining. I'm almost dead. He get out the car, walk up the stairs, ring the doorbell. And Mace open the door. Do they hug or no? Do they give each other that? How y'all think that's gonna go? 
do they got a secret handshake? Like how do they embrace? Is it all love? Is it what, what's going on? How in the hell you go from the front door, walk past all that shit. Mace come to the door with a big t-shirt on. Like come upstairs. His hairy ass. Oh, he legs look like the Grinch. With a t-shirt on walking up the stairs. Big old egg belly. He slammed the door. He got snacks and shit all in the room. Like this nigga pup playing with my money. Like damn, Mace put on some clothes, man. You playing with my money at Cam? I ain't got nowhere to go. Yo, I'ma talk to you about that. Let me use your bathroom. He go in the bathroom, man. It's a big old walker. Big old stinking wanker. It's laid out oozing on the sink. Like, damn, I forgot. I'm supposed to watch that. He probably was in there by himself with that shit. Oh my Diddy, like, I ain't know nothing about none of that. Like, I do butt plugs. I don't know nothing about none of that. He in there stressing over Diddy with that big old wanker. Like, I'm just going to please myself. I'm not going out, no. Sitting up in my room. Like I miss Brandy. Like I'm a fan of your music. You go, girl. Oh my Sitting up in my room. He was in there having a good time by his damn self, man. And Cam, like I'm a call. I ain't got a friend in the world. It's only one person left to call. I don't want to call him, but I'm feeling lonely due to the success and fame. I'm going to call Cameron. And see if he'll come out here to see me at my lowest point. As he write in his journal, the doorbell ringing. Hey, yo, Mace, open up, man. It's me, Cam. Remember from the block. <laughs> come on, man. That famous celebrity, it ain't no joke, man. It ain't no joke. Let me reiterate, I got nothing but love like Heavy D for all of these brothers that I'm talking about, man. It ain't nothing but love and respect. But it is humorous to ponder and wander and to allegate and speculate over what their relationships was like, especially if they got dealings with Diddy, with all of this stuff in the news. Did did he just get like this? Is this a new thing? Was he like that back in the day or no? I don't know, man. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. I got so much love for y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'ma holla at y'all on the next video.